So I was saying like a month or two ago or whatever that, oh, I didn't need to do that. That I was thinking of making just like a big old in-depth explanation video, my thought process and and why I routed the way I did. So I figured I'd just try doing that, but I'm gonna wait for everyone who wants to show up to show up first. Oops, oh. Thanks. Oops, I got his key, I guess. Hopefully. Sub count. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, like I was saying, doing that, doing like a, a kind of what, what the title says. Whoa, whoa. So, uh, I guess I'll just start. The first mission, running interference, if we look at the objectives, what we need to do is we need to, the, the main thing here uh, is the loot goal that I want to talk about. The loot goal is you have to get 600 of loot, including 200 in gems, and that's why we're going to be taking the specific route we're going to be taking. So, you all know how it is. You need to get Basso to go get Genevieve, but first got to clear the place out. So the normal way to play it would just be to, you know, go inside first. And then you just kind of like get everything and bop everybody on the head. And once you're done that, you then call Basso and he'll run through. Good thing the butler's out for the night. He left his lights on. Very slowly. And bring out Genevieve, and then you kind of follow him out. You get these tutorials here about putting out the torch and all that. And that's sort of the normal way to play. But what we're going to do is, knowing that Basso takes a long time to go all the way in and then all the way out again, we're going to overlap that with our own route, and we're going to try to match or beat him to the end so that we don't waste any time. So... I'm using a route that I got from an old speedrun. I'm pretty sure the new speedruns do some crazy trick with opening Basso's door, but... Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the version that I'm using. This is uh, Thief 2 with T2 Fix version 1. T2 Fix version 1.27a, because 1.27d uh, has a thing... If you notice at the start here, you can just blow this bird call right away. 1.27D, you can't do that. It fixes that, I guess. So I'm just using 1.27A, which is what I was using last year. It's kind of an arbitrary version, but it's the one that has all the tricks that I want. Um, there are. Th so this is the fixed resource pack, 1.27A. So you can use the non-fixed resource pack, and uh, things will be a little different. The lighting will be sort of uglier, but easier to see the darkness sometimes. Uh, if you're using a specific version of Old Dark, then you can shoot fire arrows at certain doors and open them, so you won't be able to do that. Even with the non-resource fixed pack with New Dark, you can't seem to do that, so that's why I, I won't be doing that on doors that uh, you might know you can. I can't on my version, so... Yeah. So, this is just the version I'm used to it that I'll be running with, so, uh, yeah. So what was I saying? We're going to bird call Basil, we're going to do the route, and I'm, I'm going to try to explain it. And uh, again, we need to get specifically 200 in gems. Oops. So if you're wondering why we don't get uh, closer loot, this is kind of why we're doing it, because the gems can only really be got way far away upstairs in the bedroom. So we also need to score at least eight knockouts, which is why I'm going to be going out of my way to knock people out too. So. Every version is different. No two people are not on fire. So hopefully this won't be too rambly, but... We're gonna blow the bird whistle right at the start, and Basso is gonna take a bit of a minute to start running. We're gonna select our water arrows. Now, a lot of the time, I'm gonna be pre-selecting items or weapons if I know I'm gonna need them, so that I don't have to try to do it in a pinch. So if you've got Good thing the time, out for the night. we're gonna get that left on. There's a key. Now, you kind of want to do that a bit fast. You want to try to do that as fast as possible um, while also not getting seen. So you, you kind of don't want to be stopped or moving slowly if you can help it, but at the same time, you don't want to just charge right in there and get seen, so you kind of want to strike a balance. It's a little Butler's tricky. Out for the night. He left his lights on. So kind of just like... That is probably... Damn torches. Always sputtering out. 
knock these two out. Now, when conversers are are conversing, let me get all of those. Now we're gonna want two flash bombs. Now you really don't need two, but it's just for safety in case something goes wrong. Which this is a pretty easy mission, so it probably won't. But conversers are usually very, uh, very low alert when they're conversing, so you can often just sneak around them. So there? that don't is loot. Now this guy is gonna be walking around randomly. So he could be at any sort of different position in here. He might be in a convenient position like that, or he might be all the way in here. And you kind of just got to do your best to just knock him out. And uh, you don't want to forget this thing on the table. It might look like a brown worthless bag. What's up, Quindle? But you want to snatch that. You want to snatch his purse and knock him out wherever he's standing. It, it might be inefficient if he's there, but just get it done the best you can. And... Uh, Good thing the butler's out for the night. He left his lights on. Damn torches. Always sputtering out. So remember we need the eight knockouts. So don't forget to take those two down. So again, this seems a bit slow, but it does get you an extra flash bomb and more loot, so... Someone there. Now, what I do, there's three golden bottles here, and then there's one speed potion down there. You probably don't really need this speed potion. I'm not sure how much time it really saves, but it's pretty quick to get, so I just get it. Now, we're going to need this guy's key. Now, there is another route where you can kind of go upstairs and just run into this room. All right. That wasn't very good. You want to be faster than that if you can. I just use the speed potion here. And you want Basso to be kind of far behind you. You'll probably have to use a flash bomb for this guy. Almost always you have to use one, so just be prepared to drop it. So, so bind your drop key. It's R by default. Um, I should probably mention my key binds too. I have key binds for all for all of the uh, equipment that I'm going to want to be able to use quickly. So for me, F is flash bomb because I always want to be able to select a flash bomb instantly if I get into trouble. F is flash bomb. G is look at loot. T is speed potion. Um, C is compass. And then uh, there's a few that I don't have bound because I don't need them really quickly, like uh, slow fall, except I did need it quickly last time, so never mind that. But slow fall and viz are usually just at the end of the inventory, and you can kind of just scroll to them. Just stop it by, gotta work. What's up, Rex? Hello? So it also helps, like, okay, it also helps to know for the items you can't bind to keys, like keys, it helps to know if you're gonna need a key how many notches it is from the item you just got. So I just picked up the purse from this guy. Now the key I'm gonna need for this door is one, two, three notches. So it helps to memorize these kinds of things. The, the the notch count. Nothing you put slow fall to will work. Oh yeah, yeah, well I haven't tried to bind it, so I that could be the case, I don't know. But But yeah, so like memorizing the count and also memorizing if you have to pick lock a door, you have the two lock picks and the door will want to start with either your triangle or your square lockpick and it Good helps to memorize out for the night he left his lights on if you can and it's pretty hard because there's a lot of doors in the game but if you can memorize which doors start with which lockpick so you don't like click the wrong one on them always sputtering out like it's not a huge thing but it'll just make you a little more efficient It's okay if you accidentally pick up the healing potion or the flare or whatever. Don't spend all day trying to just pick up the loot in there. Just see that guy's in a slightly different place than before. Just, yeah.
Also, it helps to not try to rush too much, as I learned to my cost. But, uh, like, when you're picking those gold bottles, do it slowly and methodically so that you don't accidentally use the speed potion when you pick it. Just go boom, 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 boom. It'll feel like you're wasting time, but it's better than, you know, fumbling around and wasting even more time. Whoops. Who's there? Oh. So that's why I'm not sure how much time that speed potion really saves there, because you probably have to spend more time fumbling with that guy and bonking him, so it's possible that it doesn't help. I'm not necessarily claiming these are the best routes at all, but these are the routes that I used, and I just wanted to explain them, because I think they're good, even though certainly some of them could use improvement, but they're all pretty solid at least, and some of them are really good, and just wanted to share. So, in case this guy, in case, you know, it's it's in the dark, so you probably won't have to use these flash bombs, but you want to keep the one just in case you have to quickly flash one of these guys if you, uh, because you can't see where they're going to be. So in case they're in their face, the extra flash bomb is helpful. Sharing is caring, yes. So the reason we're going all the way over to this side is because we're going to need the, uh, the gems for our loot goal of this side. So now ideally what you want is this. What you want what you want is for this guy to be before the stairs because if he's on the stairs you're going to have to push past him and it's going to waste seconds of him just blocking you. So you want to get this on the table here and then you're going to get this even though it's more than you need for the loot goal because we're going to want to buy some equipment in the next mission that we're going to want that extra ring for. So again one, two, three, four this time. Scroll up by four notches. Open the door. So we're a little slow, but if you're really fast... Did I not blow the whistle? Or did Basso get stuck? S uh, very occasionally, Basso does get stuck. Oh, I didn't... I just straight up forgot to blow the whistle at the start. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god. Let's do that one more time and see if we can get a good time. A good time is going to be something like 3 minutes and 16 seconds or, or thereabouts. 3 minutes 20 is fine. Uh, it's probably possible to get faster than that. Night. He left his lights on. But if you get somewhere between 3.10 and 3.20, that's, uh... Wow, I'm, I'm forgetting what to do. We're gonna get this done eventually. Then that's a good time. Yeah, I'm sort of explaining my titanium run, which is basically a speed run, but... Not quite optimal and with no glitches, the I guess. Out for the night. You should you just call it what it is. On. Damn torches. Always sputtering out. Well, don't you. So you shouldn't need to pick up the healing potion, because this is a really easy. You're right. I was forgetting something. I'm sorry. This is no longer the pre-show player. <laughs> Arc. At least I didn't have the browser window in front of the stream like I sometimes do, so there's that. Okay, that's slow. So, what you want to look for, after you get done with this room, you, once you go back in here, if Basso is like right, yeah, see this is really fast, but unfortunately he can sometimes stop in the door and stick you, but if Bas the farther away Basso is through that door, the faster you are, so that's good. We were a little slow with the elevator, but... Seeing things. <coughs> Two, three. 
Yes, Angel Lotus moving to Electron. It'll be the first fan mission loader that's bigger than most fan missions. No. Uh... So, I don't know, uh... Angel Loader... I've only got one... Somebody asked me to add the option to have an exit button right on the interface because he was running it in a full screen mode where he couldn't access the exit button on the title bar. Um, but I think that's really the only hmm? new thing Hello? I've got, I think. And I, it always feels weird to put on a new version just for that. Thanks for the host, Rick. But I guess I could. But I think I was going to do something else, but I can't remember what. I'd have to look at my to-do list. I don't know. I'm trying to concentrate on this. Oh. Yeah, so this is really good. So, so we're just barely behind them. So this is about the best possible thing. So we'll see the time we got here. Yeah, that's 3 minutes, 15 seconds. That's really good. So if you get something like this, that's really good. Um... Okay, so moving on to the next mission, shipping and receiving. So we're going to have to put the shipping label on the box. We're going to have to get, I guess, I think it's five bags of spice. I think there's more than that, like one or two more, but we're going to have to get, I believe it's five. We're going to have to get 850 loot, and then we have to get back to the start. So this is a route that I stole right off of a speed run. So this is going to be a really tight route. Um, and there's going to be no messing around, so <laughs> I will try to explain this. So we're going to want to buy one slow fall potion, so we're going to have two in total. We're going to use both of those. We want all three flash bombs. We may not use all three of these, but we're definitely going to want them for safety. So... <laughs> so right at the start here, you can jump like this, or you can even just kind of walk right off now. If you're if you want to mantle on something, one trick you can do is to like, okay, I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna hold the space bar, keep holding it after I'm done jumping. Uh, no, hang on, I don't think that works. Let me let me explain it again. If you just kind of walk and you press the space bar like right when you're in the midair, like right before you you sort of hit. Like if you just walk over here and you just hit that, you fall. But you see, if you were to walk. and you kind of like hold the mantle key before you run into the edge, then you kind of grab it in midair. So that's something you can do, and that's a strat that you can use all over the place, if that explanation makes any sense. So you could just walk and just do that and jump onto there if you want. Now that jump is kind of scary looking, but I'm just gonna save right at the start here. But uh, another important thing, is uh, you if you run, if you strafe run, like if you just hold the forward key, you run at a certain speed, but if you hold forward and then either left or right, you kind of run faster, so that's why I always run at an angle. So uh, let's, uh, let's try just running forward. You see, you oh. don't hit those boxes, but if you run at an angle, you'll hit them just fine, and you can just <sighs> climb up on them. Okay, so then we're gonna climb up on this ladder. Don't worry about the clanging. He's not going to hear you if you just clang there. And then get your blackjack out. Now, we're going to want to go down here and on top of there. Huh? And try not to make a commotion there. So if, if you kind of land in front of this guy and he sees you, but you bonk him out like really quickly, then this guard is probably not going to second alert and you'll be fine. But you basically either want him to just not see you and then you bonk him out, or if he does see you, then just bonk him out really quick and try not to get this guy alerted. So let's do that again. Is someone there? Okay, hmm. grab that. And then, if you're really quick, that 
then you might be able to kind of get in behind this guy while he's facing this way and bonk him out there. But be careful of that, though. Look around the corner, and if you think you don't have time, then just wait for him. I also want to talk about another thing, since we're kind of on the topic of falling off of ledges. Um, there's another very important thing about ledges and falling off, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just go up here and demonstrate it. I'll take everybody out and I'll kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Because this is a really good skill to have. So... Hang on. This is live. It's super awkward and it's kind of repetitive. Um, this probably isn't the greatest place to demonstrate it. But ledges have this property where <coughs> if you see if you see me inch, 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 inch toward the edge of a ledge, at some point you will see me very slightly drop down like that, you see? And when you drop down onto this part of a ledge, it is silent when you walk. So first of all, you're not going to make any noise when you're on this part of the ledge. And then, uh, of course, you can't get back up. Is someone there? So if you've ever had, if you've ever been on this part of the ledge and you've tried to jump back up and you can't jump onto the ledge, then that's an unpleasant thing. But you don't make noise, and also because you're a little bit lower down, if you're crouching and then you kind of fall off of it, you can avoid damage because you're a little bit lower down, and you can also avoid a loud clack. So this will come into play in masks and casing when we're going to, like especially casing when we want to avoid clacking. If we were to go like this, say, we would sometimes clack if that ledge was high enough, but if we were to crouch down on the very, very lower edge, you can sometimes avoid a clack when you would have had one otherwise, and also avoid damage when you would have had some otherwise. So that kind of becomes second nature, but it's a good thing to know. Why is Notepad++ hanging? I don't know. That sounds... Because you're trying to open a 10 gig file? I don't know. So now that we know that, we're going to try to sort of... Oh. That was wrong. Whoops. We're going to move past this and, and just get on with things. We won't always have to be held up with little explanations like this. Once you kind of know the tricks and quirks, we can just get on with explaining the route. I just thought I would explain that kind of thing. But if you see me always crouch before falling off, that's what I'm trying to do, is to just... So we're going to need this guy's key, okay? This is this is building a key, we're going to need that. We want to get the loot up there. Don't worry about that guy's body, we're also going to need this key. Now the code here is 0457. Now you're just going to have to memorize these codes. Just have them written down beside your monitor, and just read them off until you have them memorized. So. Now that we're out here, we're going to want to get straight down to where we were. Now, what you can do in theory is you can just fall here and you can grab the crate, but it doesn't always work, and if it fails, you die. So it's not reliable for a titanium run if you want to be consistent, so that's why we're going to use one of our slow falls. Now, with slow falls, if you just use it like this, you can, you can just fall and it works. But the thing is... Sometimes if you're high enough, you will still take damage even with the slow fall because you see your momentum still speeds up just at a slower rate. So a trick is that you actually, you select your slow fall first and make sure you have it selected. Don't be like me and just assume you have it selected and then jump like I did. <laughs> so select your slow fall, jump, and then right before you hit the ground, just use it. That way your momentum will still be slowed by it. Because the slow fall kind of place looks like an inventor shop. It's probably a valuable gadget. Resets your here. momentum. So, like, if you hit it close to the ground, you'll be cushioned the maximum possible amount. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't want to be too close so that you you hit it too late. But just like maybe when you're halfway down or whatever, just hit it. 
And then you'll be right this in here where you can get like this. Vendor shop. This is probably a valuable two gems there. So you want here. 200 loot by this point. And then you click up one and two notches for the key for this shed right here. Open the door. The code here is 7732. Okay. Now you're going to stick to the shadow around this crate. Like, surround the crate in the shadow. Like, don't just run out into the open there. Blackjack that guy. Don't worry about his body being in the light. We're not going to care about that. Now, we're going to run in here and grab this label. That's why we opened this for. Now, this area is kind of random, so... This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around. Oh, do you mean, uh... Are you saying, like, I could jump further along on those big boxes? Soth, uh, how are you suggesting that I fall here? Like, you want me, you want me to jump onto these boxes? There? Possibly. Okay. Oh, I guess you can. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not saying that this is an optimal route. It's, like, just what I used because there's, like, limited time for me to figure out. Yeah, you could probably do that, and that may... I don't know, it's pro... It could be possible that using the slow fall optimally might be just slightly faster because you're closer. I don't know, but, like, I stole this from a speedrun. But, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I guess you could do that. So, yeah, if you wanted to do that... Then I guess you could. But, yeah, I don't know. It's. We'll see if it throws this off the time. Because sometimes. Like vendor shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here. Yeah. But it's. Timing is a big thing, too. Like, for example, if we were to do that. Then this guy might. No, I guess he's still there. Okay. Used to be burned. Oh. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't know. Let me try it my way because I want to see if I can get that purple guard. <laughs> this place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here. Because this, this place over here has got a ton of guards, and they're kind of random. So stick to the shadows. Bop the guy out. Now, sometimes this guy... Yeah, he, if he's just there, then it might be a good thing to just kind of... I mean... I, I haven't really figured out how to make this place efficient and safe, because... There's a lot of guys to bop out, and it's pretty slow to do so. But then, if you don't do it, then you're gonna have s you're gonna get stuck over there when you try to go over that way. Uh, this is not efficient, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, if you go around this corner on top of this crate, you can kind of stay in the darkness. And if you're fast, scroll to your key again. The code is six nine three seven. Run back here before this guy sees anybody who's in the light. Quickly bop him. Now, sometimes he'll just be in an inconvenient place, so you have to just make a judgment call on whether you have time to run in here first or bop him first. But we're going to get one, two, three, four, and five. And we need 310 loot by the time we get out of here. Yeah, so see, this guy's coming, so he might see. So you might want to put this guy in shadow. Again, I, it's all really slow, and I don't like how slow it is to do this, but... Shrug, I don't know. Okay, also, once you're done that, remember to come back here because you need to put in another code. 7933. Three. And if you're fast enough, these guys will still be conversing so you can just run in here. Then you want to run over here. Because if you hadn't bopped one of these archers out, he would be walking this way. Now, I bopped these two guys out. I don't really know if that's necessary, but I think it's just safer. You want to run in here. Scroll one past your loot to the tag. Put it on there. 
And you can mantle up the side of stairs a lot of the time, which is, if you don't miss it, a little bit faster. Now this, there is, there's a, uh, some loot behind it, but you don't actually have to chop the banner. Oh, we're all the way back here. You can actually just pluck it from behind the banner, and that's the case in several banners this in the game. This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around Let's here. Grab the loot. <laughs> yeah. So if you miss a number, then just start the sequence again from the beginning. It all kind of wraps around. So you see, this time I'm like, okay, I don't really have time to bop that guy out without getting seen here, so... So now I have to just think, okay... Six, nine, three, seven... Yeah. Okay, so I am gonna take that guy out. I should have taken that purple archer out. He's gonna be a problem. Three, four, five. So it's good to know what loot totals you want at various times. Okay. So 310 is what you want. If you don't have 310, something's wrong and you might have to go for backups. So. That archer went over that way, now that's going to be a problem because we're going to have to wait for him now. Or waste a flash bomb. Seven, nine, three, three. I couldn't believe what I saw. So that's why normally I take him out. I always want to take him out. I hear Captain Davis we're going to risk it. We're just going to go in here. This is not how I normally do it, but we're going to see. So you just go right in here, you just frob behind it, and you get the loot. You want 410 now at this point. Now... I normally go up in here. I've seen Nexus do this differently and take a different route, but yeah, there's that chest there, there's this one here. Now, if you go up here, sometimes you can kind of climb up this side, but it's really inconsistent, so if you don't want to spend all day, you can just go this way and climb up here. It's a bit slower, but, you know, it's more reliable, so there's that. Now, we're going to want all the loot here. So we're going to want one, two, three. In the middle, there's only two. This one is not loot. See, it's just junk. And then we're going to want one, two, three. On the edge again, we're going to want 565. One notch up for the building A key. Go through here, and we're going to go straight into this door. And we're going to just clang right on this. We're going to get heard, almost certainly, but it's not going to matter. I'm gonna go right in here. Hello? See, we're gonna get hurt, but it's not gonna matter. So, these guys could be in various positions, so if they're kind of in an inconvenient one, you might wanna wait. Now, get your slow fall ready and don't be like me. Make sure you have it selected before you do this jump. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump down here and then we're gonna immediately ready a flash bomb by just hitting F because there's gonna be two guys down there. Almost certainly they're gonna be there and we're gonna wanna immediately be able to flash them so that we don't get killed. So, select your slow fall, jump, jump, I said jump, oh my god. Right before you hit it, use it, F, and if there were any guys here, you would just immediately drop, yeah, drop your flash bomb. There's Davidson's key, we're gonna need that. Now, there's gonna be guys over there looking, very possibly, but they're way at the other end, so it doesn't matter. Now, Davidson and his guy here are kind of random too. So when you come out this door, you want to sneak in the dark here because this guy could be looking at you. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain when I'm going so fast. I like to take this guy out. Who's over there? So I've got two more flash bombs, so what I could do is just kind of... That looks like Captain Davidson. Okay, that one didn't work. He's a shady guy. But you see, if you do that, you could alert the, these spiders. And, you know, if you do that, then you have to kind of run. You want to grab that bag of spice in there, the point is. You also want to grab the bag of spice on one of these guys' waists. I guess I did that already. No, I didn't. See? 
like that's how messy it can get. So what I normally do is I take the slower. Oh no, I'm back here. I'm sorry, you guys. I've gotta remember to save. Oh, this place thanks for the looks sub, like Ada. an inventor shop. It's probably a valuable gadget. Fart or two potion and you cushion the fall by farting before hitting. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick save after this. I just forgot. I thought of turning back on my quick save and quick load keys, but then I thought that's a bad habit, so <laughs> but I guess I should have. So normally, like I say, even if this guy is way over there, I do like to get him. really slow but sometimes you, you just have to you just have to know when something could be dangerous and if you're not confident then just do the slow thing because better slow than dead right like you waste way more time by dying even on just the second mission than you would on just spending a little more time here so <laughs> sup ada So just remember this crate is going to be dark enough on top that you won't get anyone seconding to you. Alright, sorry for missing your stream earlier. I, you know, I was asleep because my sleep schedule, it's a thing. So yeah, very possible you don't have to bot these guys, but I just want to talk about what I know. Three, four, five. So yeah, you'll see me always switch back to my compass. I have it bound to the C key because it's like a known point in the inventory, and I can always put it back to that so I know where I am. My booty sleep. Okay, I'm going to save right here. So if you find, like I did on my first run, that you missed some loot earlier, I'm going to show you an alternate thing you can do. So you've gotten all this loot, two, one, two, three, and you find you have less than 565. What you're going to want to do is instead of going out through this door, you're going to want to just carry on this way and that way you end up right in building B. Now be careful, there's a camera up here. So what we're gonna do is watch for the camera. Okay, he's turn that way. This switch just turns it right off. Also watch, because there's a guy who could be walking up there, so just make sure he's not in your way. But yeah, there's a bunch of extra loot here. So there's, there's some there, and then this book there will open this, and then there's even more here. And it's possible this might even end up being reasonably efficient too because this will take you straight into building B then you don't have to do the slow fall potion jump you can kind of just go right down the stairs if you want to which I'm pretty sure you're, you're slower at this point but like that's an option but for my route at least also if you're up here and you kind of run fast enough you might just <coughs> fall to the floor and lose one health. It's not a big deal if you do. You won't die from that, but so just don't sweat it if you do. You know, whatever. <laughs> Boo, strats. So yeah, I'm pretty sure just taking this path, because it's just like straighter, is going to be faster than that other route. So yeah, so like that guy, if he's there, I'm going to say, okay, look, I'm just going to wait. I could probably make it by running over there, but I don't want to use another flash bomb. I'm just going to wait. Did you see that? 
So if you want to, you could bop these guys out. I mean, you know, you're going to probably want to do that eventually, but whatever. So you could jump from either of these sides, but yeah, I'm just going to make sure I have the potion. Hit it right yeah. before the ground, select the flash bomb. Decide. Decide whether they want to use it. Okay, use it. Also, when you use a flash bomb, if you just drop it right in front of you, you get blinded. Now, that's often not that big a deal because your blindedness goes away a lot faster than guard's blindedness does. So even if you do it like that, you can usually still hit the guy. But a strat is to just drop it. Oh and then just turn away while it flashes and then just quickly turn back so that you can still see. So you'll see me doing that a lot. Okay, so you've got these guys, take the key. Yeah, so normally that archer is gonna be out here, so when you come out through this door, you wanna just like, make sure to just inch your way over here because he might be looking at you. But it's a little bit random, you just kinda have to be flexible. Okay, so. <coughs> What I normally do is I just kind of take it slow here, and I wait for this guy. Which does mean that, you know, my time on this mission is really not good compared to optimal, because I'm waiting a lot. And you could definitely get this down a lot if you wanted to. But if you go up here, this guy randomly turns, so like if Captain he's... Davidson's cargo ship. If he's turned towards you... He's what, a shady guy. If he's you want to save a flash piracy. bomb... You can kind of just wait and see if he turns in a reasonable time, and then you can just run. You're wasting a few seconds, but what? if not, you can flash bomb him, but you might alert the spiders, and then you wouldn't be able to do this strat. So what I do is I, I draw an arrow first, then I open the door, I shoot the first spider, then I just shoot that one. Now, that one, you kind of have to know when to aim it. Like, you kind of have to just get a feel for the position at which it should be uh, in order to hit it. Some people just don't even bother to shoot them, they just run them around. But that's the way I do it, so... <laughs> Running around in panic? <laughs> yeah. You also kind of get a feel for AI's peripheral vision and when you're safe to kind of circle around them like this. And you also get to know when it's safe to leave bodies in light because there's no like Captain Davis coming. You're going to ready a flash bomb. Okay. He's a shady guy. If he had turned toward me, I would have used that. Okay. Aim. Door. Shoot. And right about there. I missed. It's not a huge deal if the spider bites you once. You're not gonna die from one bite. And you wanna go up here. You need to hit the wheel and this telescope. And you're gonna go one, two. I forgot to get Davidson's key. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry. What's over there? Never had spice. Yeah, Rex, your strat is definitely better. Mine is, is too cautious and I really should tighten it up, but I'm just explaining the way I did it on my run. Like, this is nowhere near optimal, and if you want to speed run, this is, like, not even it. Like, this is basically the speed run route, but you definitely want to do it a lot faster than this if you're going for that. That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. Like I say, some of these... He's a shady guy. He's some of these are just not optimal, but yeah, I'm just telling you what I did. Wow. That's real slow. I mean, it, it, you know, if you do the route, if you do the whole game route the way I did, you'll still get a really good time. It's just that some of these individually. So now you want to go one, two clicks up to get Davidson's key. Ready your sword. Now you're going to hit the banner with your sword, unlock this, keep your sword out, hit the banner again, unlock this, and then immediately put your sword away and scroll your key out of the inventory 
because it's it's faster to just walk with your sword than it is to put your sword away and bring it back out again. So. I mean, let's try it. Let's that try just like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. He's a shady guy. Get out of here. Pirates. But you want to make sure you get all the spice bags is the thing. So yeah, you could do it that way. Oh yeah. One, two clicks. The door ready your sword. Hit it. Unlock it. Yeah, because getting back to your key. And then unlock it. Because if you were to just get unlock this and then grab it, you would have to then scroll back to your key. Oops. So, yeah, you want to ready your sword, chop the banner, just unlock it, walk with your sword over here, chop the other banner, unlock this, then compass away your key, then open this, then grab that, then grab these two things in here, then finally grab that, and then you should have 800 loot coming out of here. If you don't have 800 loot, well, go get the backup stuff that I said, I guess. But make sure you get all the bags of spice, because if you miss those, you're going to be going all around wondering. Okay, so next bag of spice is going to be up here. And if you're at your compass, one, two, three, four, now let's see. What you want is one, two, three. So if you're at your compass, you want to scroll down one, two, three times for Davidson's key. You should have 820. That's like 420, but with a double pumped system bus. Okay. And you go up the elevator, hit the second button there, the middle button. Now, if you didn't bop these guys out before, you have to make a call on whether you want to do it now. If they're way over there, then don't bother. But if they're in your way, then just run up and bop them. You do not need this guy's key, so don't bother taking it. You're going to go again, one, two, three, the Davidson's door. You're going to open these in any order, but just open them both with the key out. Like, don't, don't try to put the key away before you do that. Get the spice in the crate, and now you should have 840. And we need 850 loot. We're going to get the last bit of loot right near the end. So there's this ladder here that's this evil ladder because it can stick you. And then, yeah, see, I, I was able to jump there, but sometimes you won't be able to jump. It'll kind of stick you. So you might end up just kind of falling like that. Just hold your mantle key and you should still make the mantle. That ladder's evil. And if you if you're really sort of nervous, you could kind of just... Try to take it slow and just, like, jump before. I don't know. It's tricky. But jump over under these crates. Make sure to land on the crates, not on the ground. It wants to hold you. She needs you. It's the Yandere ladder. So we're going right back where we were to the start. And you see, so you don't have to get this at the end. You could also get this at the start. But in this crate is one more statue. That'll take us to A55. Then we're going to just climb on these crates. <gasps> And end the mission. So, I took a lot of time explaining there, but 7 minutes, 52 seconds. I usually get, you know, somewhere in the 7 to 8 minute range on this. It's really not fast at all, but that's, that's sort of my time on this. So, let's continue on finally. Hope I explain everything there. Okay, so framed. This is sort of a forced ghost mission, but it's not quite forced ghost. What it is, is that you're not allowed to knock anyone out, and you're not allowed to have any of the guards trigger the alarm. But if you switch the alarm off at, with the master switch, then they can't trigger the alarm, so you don't really have to ghost exactly. You just have to not knock anyone out. Uh, we're going to have to do the framed thing, and we're not actually going to need any equipment for this mission. So right off the bat, you're going to get your triangle lock tooth lock pick ready. There's loot in that bar, but we're not going to need it. You could go over here if you want to. And you could, uh, your square tooth. And you could jump over here and grab one and... Ah, my favorite year. 
Ah, oh, Garrett, your favorite year. Yes, we know. So you get 75 loot there. I don't need that, though. I found it's just, like, it's not that slow to get it, but it's just, it's not needed, so I just don't go over there, so... That's what you can do, though, if you feel like you need it. <laughs> Who wants to see Steven Russell do a Garrett-gasm? How much would you pay? It is, there's nothing really to the start. There's no tricks. You just have to go in through the water and just, just take a breath wherever you feel like it. There's lots of places you could take a breath. Uh, you could take it early or late. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got enough air. There's nothing to explain here. There's only really one way to do it. But again, you can kind of go diagonally and, and go move a little bit faster. So you can take a breath there if you want. <laughs> Two more, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, so... We're gonna go into this left hallway. There's... Yeah, there's a right hallway here. This will take you, I think, into the, uh, the holding cell area, possibly. This is nowhere near where we need to be, though, so... Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know where that goes. We don't even need to be there, so... All right, cool. See you, Count. So just go in here. Now, again, there's going to be a statue in the water here. There's going to be a couple of water arrows. We don't need any of them. I'm not even going to get that statue. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to turn the alarm switch off, because it's for safety. So... We're going to want to go upstairs. Now, uh, the objectives say that you're going to want to get... Um, okay, the objectives don't say anything about it, but... In a normal playthrough, you'd want to go and get a code so that you'd know the code to enter to open the vault, but we know the code already, and we're not required to get it for the titanium rules, so we're just not going to get it. So what we want to do is go upstairs right away. So there's two ways up there. We could either go up this way, in which case we'd put out this torch. We would end up here, and we could kind of grab this loot while we're at it. We wait for this guy to come here, but it's kind of, we could grab this guy's key, which we're going to need. It's kind of a lot of waiting, and I'm pretty sure that going the other way is faster because... <sighs> Oh, yeah? Uh. You still beat me, Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to just know what it is and just enter it, so the rules say. But you have to get the one in the bank, though. It's kind of arbitrary, but there you go. So, instead of going up that way, you can instead go up the other side. And the thing is, we're going to want to go this way anyway, through here. And just, just stick to the shadows on the wall so that you don't get seen by these two. Because if you're over here, I mean, you probably won't get noticed anyway, but I just stick to the wall. So you stay in the shadows, open this door, and then you're right in the lobby. And you want to turn off, so this is... Okay, that's the secret switch, but like, yeah. This is the alarm enable. This is the main gate. You want to open both of those. Like, I mean, you want to flip both of those. Flip the main gate up and flip the alarm off. And then there's a switch under the desk for the secret. So that's what we're going to get. So you basically just want to do a quick three frob thing. You just one, two, and then three. Get all of these, you should have a hundred. You go right in this door, 
and right up these stairs. Don't really worry about this guy. He doesn't really see you. Take out your water arrows and immediately start putting out the torches. That one, and then this one, and then immediately square tooth lockpick, go into this door, grab the key. Triangle tooth lockpick, go into this door. Grab the handkerchief. Immediately Let's see what turn I can out. Use against our Lieutenant Hagen. You want to be really fast because that guy's going to turn around. Put that out. Put that out. The risky strat is to grab this guy's key, which you're going to need. Oh, sorry. No, see, you have to avoid that guy. That's why it's risky. But you're going to need to open that door. A safer strat you can do. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Ada. Analyzing. Oh, we'll analyze it. Oh, creepy. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to quickly set my shortcut keys back to save and load since this is just a demonstration thing. There's no sense in me not having the save and load keys. So just one second while I do that. Good. It's just, it's just so I can more quickly explain things without having to replay a bunch of stuff. So as I was saying, the safer strat you can do... No delays on these. Be as absolutely fast as you can. Make sure your lockpicks are bound to something. Don't put away your water arrows instinctively because you're going to want to keep them out. Whoops. Let's see what I can use against our Lieutenant Hagen. Oops. The safer strat is what you can actually do is you can go and start picking this door because you can actually pick this door too. And... You're gonna want that second. You're gonna want that guy's key for the second door upstairs. But by the time you're finished picking the door, this other guy will be relatively close to this side. And then you can just go and grab his key, and then you can use it on the second door up here. I like to put these torches out just in case you have guys running after you. You'll have a nice dark stairway. Lean in. Make sure that guy's not looking at you. Put that torch out. Then you want to get the key for this door. Just open it right up. Just run in here really quickly. Four, zero, two, six. I better do this quick. Okay. Um, now, once you get in here, there's this there's this really fast thing you can do. So, you what you do is you frob to grab this box. Then it's gonna be your inventory. You click one down in your inventory. There's your handkerchief, and then you drop it with R, okay? So, it's a really quick grab down drop. It's kind of it's kind of a tricky finger thing. You have to like hit a bunch of buttons in sequence, but if you just practice the sequence, you can do it really fast. I'm gonna grab all of this loot, because I'm actually gonna want this, and it's really fast. 489 is what you should have. I'm gonna go straight out here again. And just kind of make sure to just run out really quickly so you don't get seen. I like to close that door because I don't want anyone coming after me. Okay. Now I'm out here. Now, if you're really fast, you want to be able to get out ahead of that guy is the thing. Otherwise, you have to wait for him. So, from a compass, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three is where your strong box is. So you want to drop that on the floor. So even if you do get second alerted, just stay still. It's all darkness up there. And just let it settle down. Okay. More than enough time. One, two, three... Drop the thing in this room. Drop it on the carpet, too, to go. so that it muffles the sound. Then you can just run down here. Now, sometimes what can happen here is there can be two guys that are stuck. Usually that doesn't happen, but sometimes it can. And so in that case, you have to decide what you want to do. You could try to lure them away with noise, or you could just take the slower way around here. It, it wastes a bit of time, but it is safe. You just circle all the way around. Now, it doesn't matter if they're chasing you. Oh, she got unstuck. Okay, it does matter. 
I should have looked. But like the point is, as long as they're not close enough to hit you. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a good demonstration, but. Yeah, there's a, there's a switch for the gate, but then you can't get out of it. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, like, I don't know everything. Like I say, this is just the route that I know. It's very possible there's some strats I just don't Time know, so... Go. Well, it's not closed, though, because I just opened it with the... Okay, so now they're not stuck. So if they're not stuck, you just run. Ready a flash bomb in case what? you need it? Yeah. Sometimes she'll be there, sometimes she'll be over there. So you might not need the flash bomb, but you just run past them. Like I say, it's not a forced ghost, it's just a forced... No KO and don't let the alarm ring. So you, as long as you just get out here, you're good. Okay. Close it. You want me to? You want me to try? I mean, okay. This is supposed to be me explaining. So what? What's that guy? Do? That guy is just... Well... Report, friend. Did thou notice anything unsavory? What? Blast! Can we not keep anything working? Drudgery! Drudgery! <laughs> oh, you can't knock him out. <laughs> you can't hide. All right, so how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? I mean, to me, good God. I don't know how I would. Okay, I'll close the gate. The thing is, this would probably count as a glitch. Oh, no, it's not. It just, oh, wow, you can. Okay, but the thing is, though, when you go to turn the alarm off, the gate switch is right there, so that you don't waste any time by just opening the gate. So there's not really any point to that. But yeah, it is funny. <laughs> okay, but yeah, continuing. So, ambush. Now, again, I'm pretty sure my strat, my route is not quite optimal on this. I'll kind of explain it like it's close to optimal, I think. But I suspect there's one part of it that could be done a little bit faster, but this is a blazing fast mission regardless. So, right at the start, we jump up here. Now, these two here, what you want to do is go up to the left, but if you kind of jump up, you're in the light. Goodness me, is, is this man dangerous? Me? Excuse they me? They say they want him dead or alive, but it looks to me like they'd prefer dead. Okay, never mind, I'm wrong. Um... I thought those two were going to alert. That's strange. I guess you don't. Okay, so what I normally do. <laughs> Better get moving before they see me. What I normally do is. And I guess this is not necessary. What's is to bop on? her. City watch all now, if you place. bop her right away, she screams before you can bop her. Then this guy is going to get all upset and it'll kind of get in your way. Thanks for the follow, Silver. Good commentary the other day. Okay, um. So if you did, if you did want to bop the girl, which I guess is obviously unnecessary and I had no idea, then you on? would bop her, you would then the wait place. for the lady to turn around and then bop her, and then climb up here, but... No, it's definitely full of holes. But, but, but I mean, oh crap. Oh, I don't have control, alt, shift, end. Whatever, I'll just load. Loading, okay. Better get moved. Wait, no, I can't be loading. Because that's going to have a different loot thing. Wait a minute. Uh. Yeah, I mean, like, I know there's a lot, a lot, a lot I could improve, but it's like, you got to balance the time to learn everything there is to learn versus the time it takes to just practice what you know so you get good at it. Bobby is so lazy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. End the mission. 
Stats, 49 loot. Yeah, that's what we want. Better get moving before they see me. So, okay. I guess you can just going on? jump up here. Watch are all over the place. <laughs> no, you see, they do get alerted. That was a total fluke last time. So you see if they get alerted, you're, you're wanting to go up through here, but then they're going to run around this way. And if they alert those guards, which I guess they didn't this time, they might get in your way here and chase you. So that's why... Oh, thanks, Silver. So that's why... Oh, hang on. Uh, no. Yeah, see, this is why I just want to stick to my strats during this explanation, because I know them to work, even if maybe they're What's unnecessary sometimes. I know for a the fact uh. these work, and so, you know. I'll definitely be looking at all of these and trying to tighten them up for next time, but, like, as it is, you just fall out through here. And again, you see... Better get moving before they see me. Yeah, I watched some of the... Some of the commentary back in the VOD, What's obviously I couldn't on? hear it while I was playing, but you guys did well. So again, we're falling off, we're crouching. Okay. All right, another thing. This is also a second nature thing I didn't realize was a thing, but... Titanium is when you play the whole game start to finish without saving or loading, and if you die, you have to start all the way back at the beginning. But there's saves and loads in this because I'm just explaining what my routes and strats are, but in a real run, you wouldn't ever save and load. So a thing with windows that I didn't even realize was a thing because it's second nature. If you crouch and try to go up to a window, you can't you can't run up into it unless you take like a running start and it's awkward. But if you if you run when you're when you're just standing, like you see if you just normally press against a wall, I'm like right here. But with the window, there's just like a tiny bit of like going into it. Can you see that? Like, you see the little nudge over to the left as I just nudge just slightly up into the window frame? If you're in that state and then you crouch and you're kind of moving, like basically you're in that state and you're kind of like almost trying to run up into the window when you're standing, but you can't quite. And then you crouch and you also have the momentum from running, you can kind of get through the window, if that makes any sense. So you just run at it at, with a strafe run, standing, and then right when you hit it, you crouch, and you'll get through it fast. Yeah, is a nudge innuendo now, Rex? Is everything innuendo? I don't think the word nudge sounds like innuendo to me, but what do I know? So anyway, that's what you do. And then again, you want to... Okay, another thing is that when you fall down, you'll stand up, even if you were crouched. So I crouched through the window, I fall, and I auto stand. So you want to crouch again, go onto the, go onto like the the uh, lower edge of the platform, and then you can fall onto the ground without getting hurt and without clacking. So it's all kind of second nature to me, but like, yeah. Cool. What's a big fella like you doing out here at night? So yeah, like that's that's one thing you can do, but like just to show what another route could be. Better get moving before they see me. What's going on? The city watch. This was all my previous place. route. Another way, which is also reasonably <laughs> fine. It's probably a bit slower, but like it's it's not that bad as you could go out this way. Lord Anders hasn't received a report in some time. Spot those two. Like, there's a lot of streets and you kind of just have to like memorize which direction is to go. It's kind of hard to like explain to you, but yeah, you just end up here and then you end up at this side of the market. It might be about the same speed on those routes. It's kind of hard to tell, but like either one is going to be basically fine. You're not going to be egregiously wasting time on either of them. But I feel like this one could be faster. I don't know. What's a big fella like you doing out here at night? But what you want to ultimately do, whichever route you take, is you want to get to this part of the market and go to this passage here. Now, again, there's kind of a choice of route you could take here. But you're always going to go up here to bop this guy out. And then... You take a choice of route. Either you go around here, 
And again, I'm pretty sure neither of these are all that much different in time between the other. And you end up here. You end up at these two who you're going to bop out and then we're going to carry on. Another way you could get there, which is what I do currently, and again, I don't know if this is faster, but meh, is you jump. Like, again, I think this might be just a couple of seconds faster. And you, But you have to be quick, because these patrollers are on, on a timer, and if you stand around here too long, they're going to see you. Actually, I guess they're friggin' blind. Come Let's on, you. Some Takes them forever. But, like, basically, you just want to be quick if you do take this route. Because if you just run past them quick enough, they they only first alert. Let's see some identification. But regardless of how you get here, you want to bomb these two out. <laughs> And then you just head straight ahead and you'll be at your house. Now... Now you go behind. Now what I like to do is I like to just put up the torch through the window. Now... There's a couple of ways you could do this. You could shoot a rope arrow here. Now, this, this kind of... You have to get an ear for when this guard is near the window by just like listening to the volume. So, so that you don't want to jump up here when she's facing the window. So you could try putting an arrow up here, but then mantling is a little unreliable. So you might be able to mantle or you might just fall off and then she might hear you. So another thing you could do is you could put it up here. And then you could try mantling on the top. But you got the same problem is that you might <laughs> fail. See, I succeeded there, but you might just as well fail and then clack and then you'll get hurt. But it is safer to be up here because you can go in here and there's no guard on this Who's level there? and you can just look at her and see when to bop her out. Use moss and crate. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah. But what I like to do is I like to shoot it up there. Listen. Okay, first I would shoot this torch out then. Hmm. Odd noises. Get your blackjack ready. Listen for her. Okay, she's far away. Then just jump up here. Yeah, you're Looks right. You like should I'm moss that platform. Dress, because you could clack. To to my stash first. Honestly, I just kind of wing this part. Even if she does get alerted, it's not a huge deal because there's darkness up here and you can kind of just... Yeah. But here's your apartment. I like to just put that out for safety. Although you don't really have to. If that guy's over there, then just kind of go in here and just ignore him. Oh, you lost the bottom. Good. Okay. Now time. Okay. So let me just let me just explain what I get in there. But I'm actually going to just try mossing. Wait, I don't even have a moss arrow, so you must have to pick one up in a previous mission or something, or buy one. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna need a new address. But I'm gonna have to get to my stash first. So you don't really need to put this torch out, you can kind of just run in here, but... Yeah, so if the guy's over this side, then I actually do just knock him out. Okay. You pick the boss at grass? Oh, of course. So, there's a lot of equipment in here, but I'm only gonna get three pieces. I'm gonna get the required key, I'm gonna get Good. the loot. Now time to relocate. Which is the 489 I got in the last mission, and I'm going to get the speed potion. That's all I'm going to get. So... Key, speed Good. potion, loot. Now time to relocate. I don't need anything else. Now, if you put the rope there, either take it back or just go off this side. Don't try to go off this side. You might get stuck and have to end your game. That happened to me once. It was hilarious. I'm not going to use the speed potion here, as tempting as it is. No, I don't need the invis potion. Oh, wait a minute. Is there an invis? Hang on. Are you guys serious? If there's an invis potion, then I'm the dumbest. Oh, there is none. It's only slow fall. If there wasn't invis, I certainly would have known to take it. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Good. Now time to relocate. Because the invis would be really useful, but no, sadly not. 
So you don't need to take the rope back. I, I don't need it. Yeah, I'm not going to use the speed here. As tempting as it is, it's a straightaway because I'm going to use it near the end to save a lot more time than it would save here. So I'm going to go through this way, and I'm not going to go back this way because if you do, these two... Okay, so the thing is, I think that just straight up following Always. these two it's never anything exciting. and just going this way is probably more direct, but Let's see there's danger there, there's randomness, so instead... Good. Now time to relocate. Instead, I'm going to take the uh, the sort of alternate route here, but back, if that makes any sense. Because the way that I got here was by jumping down, but jumping back up is a lot more dangerous. So, here, there's like this path there to the left, you don't want to go to that one. Go to the second lamppost path to the left. And then just keep kind of heading eastwards. So, yeah, uh, we would have to make j the jump from here up to there if we went that way, and that's just too risky. So we're just going to go all the way along this route. Till we get back to the market. Then we're going to jump to this side from there. Because there's a guy guarding the bridge to the side. She's going to alert. We're not going to care, because this guard isn't going to care either. We're going to get the extra loot. You can bop him if you want, or not. 589 is what we want. <laughs> then we're going to quickly run. Get your speed potion ready. Make sure that guy's facing away because the, the timing is pretty Someone tight. There? Now, here, I'll show you the slow way and the fast way, okay? Mm -hmm. So actually, the slow way is kind of... Oh, I'm all the way back here. See, it's a habit for me not to save even when I can. Good. Now time to relocate. No, this is a speed run. No calm allowed. Also, my voice is kind of failing, so I might not be able to go for a huge amount of time today. I just realized. But we'll see. If you're going to do the fast strat, you need to keep up a steady pace. Like, just keep going because you want this guard to be, like, over there. But if you want to take the careful strat, you can actually just wait for him to to turn. Because he turns right around. That's why you need to be fast here. Oh, and also those two end up being in your face. But, yeah. So you can bop the guy out here. Put him there. Then you go over here and you just... So these guys will both randomly turn, so this is this is a good spot. Oh, but wait. So the slow strat is to just be really careful. Listen Hello? for those guys over there. They're gonna walk over here. <sighs> Nothing. So just make sure not to bop this tense. guy out into the light so that those guys can see him. Yep. So this is really, really, really slow, but it's safe, so. But the fast strat seems to be really safe. I've never died from it, so I recommend that you would do that, but, you know. Done with all that. 
You then run up to this door when it's safe. You start picking this door. Okay. Go in when it's safe. Quickly close it. Go to this. Put out all light sources in this room. So the torch and the fire. Open the windows and then just watch. Get your key ready. And then just open the gate. On the other hand, the fast track. Speak. <laughs> Simply just run with your speed potion ready, and you're going to use it right about here. You just run. And you want to zigzag so that the archers won't hit you. Get your key, which is two notches down from where you'll be in the inventory. Lock the gate if you want, and then just run. I've never died from that. It looks dangerous, but if you just run past them and keep zigzagging, they should never hit you. Yeah, so three minutes. You'll get a sub four minute with that kind of route that I, that I just did there. So... Oh, boy. Eavesdropping. So this is the one with the infamous Karis conversation. Thanks, Rick. It takes about five minutes, five and a half minutes. The key can be in one of, I think, ten different locations. Okay, so this is the time when I'm going to actually pop this window up. So here we are at eavesdropping. So here's the loop map. So can you guys kind of see this? All right there. Okay. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. So here's the mechanist seminary. There's the catacombs and the workshop. There is the second floor. And there's, I guess, the other. This is the third floor. This is the second floor. So the main location is here. So. We are going to start outside, so we're going to start kind of there. We're going to go around this side, picking up a couple bits of loot on the way. Then we're going to go inside and we're going to listen to the conversation at the door here. You could also listen outside if you want, but I'm going to listen inside because, you know, whatever. Um, also, it's up to you. They're going to tell us where the key is, and it can be in one of like nine or ten different locations. I don't. It doesn't say exactly how many here, but yeah, like a bunch of different locations. The best possible location for the key is what's called the factory key. That is in, uh, let's see, here. Because where you need to use the key is right there. So the fastest possible thing is to get the key there. You just use it there and then just drop it back in the room. But that is unlikely that we're going to get that. So we have to be prepared to get any ridiculous, crappy key so we're just going to have to work with it. Some of them are in the towers, which is dangerous. So you just have to roll with what you've got, and your route has to be flexible. But I'll show you the general route, which we might have to change up if we get unlucky. But I'll show you the basic route, but you just have to make it flexible depending on what you get. Okay. So, we're going to want to buy two flash bombs, and that's all we really need. So, creep crouch call, because the thing is, if you... Actually, I guess we didn't need the loot on that guard's purse, because we're 100 short. Okay. So, you want to creep crouch crawl off of it, because if you walk... You might, I guess I didn't this time, but you might get heard by one of these two guards up there, and that could just cause problems, so it's better just to... Rick, you got the factory key? That's amazing. 
So Creek Crutch Crawl Off, we're gonna go around this side. The reason we're going around this side is because if we go around this side, there's a conversation. And there's a robot who will only start walking once we actually walk on this side. And I'm not sure if it's the triggering of the conversation that starts the robot walking or if it's just proximity. But we do not want to go over there. We don't want that robot walking around. He would be a huge pain if we had him walking. So that's why we don't go to the, uh, I guess, the west or the east side. That side ever, ever. Okay. Yeah, that's the west side, so we don't go to the west side ever. Okay. Let's go around here. And that robot will stay put over there and not bother anyone. Okay. We're not going to go in that door. Instead, we're going to go around because we want some loot here. First bit of loot. It's in this room. It is the left chest. Do not get the right chest. It is the Trollhammerin. So. Do not get that chest. Only get this chest. Okay. Done. Now. There are two hammers on two different graves. One is this first one here. The other is this one here, third from the right. Now we should have 225. Could it go in here? Now, the thing is... Let me just see, because I'm not 100% sure on this. But it could be possible that if you're too fast, then you might get seen in there. I don't think so, but... Yeah, you maybe you'd get seen or heard if you're too fast, but I guess not. Anyways, I like to just sort of creep crouch. You immediately want to put this light out because you want this whole place bathed in darkness. So that guy, I think he always goes in here, so we're going to just wait for him to come out. Bop him out. And we're going to listen to the conversation. Better not disturb them. Maybe we'll get your snacks, or your coffees, or whatever have you. And if you can alt-tab the game and still have it running, then go and, you know, play a game of Tetris, or go and surf the web, or whatever. Do people still say surf the web? Maybe it's browse the web. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Yeah, they refer to the key location right at the end, but if you know how much time you got, which is about five and a half minutes, then you can just kind of keep tabs on it. That which I call the servant. Yeah. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you. The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Garrus, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The truant name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust ye in me, for tis the builder himself who guides me, and the baron need never know. Yes, I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then. In, in the form of... Uh, demonstrations? Demonstration. The, the visual, in this instance, would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate. But I must ask thee to, to step away from, from the mast, servant, that's right. And meanwhile, meanwhile I would retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, come gentle beggar, and stand thee just there. Next to the masked man. Now, all is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival whilst thy signal the servant. That's Lee. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! 
continue thy observations, Stuart. But it consumes them. We are in peril. Fear thee not, stout sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone. And what remains oh. in their sand? Yeah, I guess they do. Sand? No. Rust. Indeed, it is very much like rust and harmless when settled. Brother Finkin, pray did you sweep up what is left of those two? It's like, yeah, whatever door you listen at, they just happen to come in through the other one. And monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. I need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project. And I can supply them. I heard Agamon, Count call this the fun five, like the fun five Those minutes. Will not be <laughs> anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up for charges invented, etc. Still, there's always risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Karis, so you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very well, Trick. Now, now see, friends, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure the two subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Turret. Yes, his loyalty. <laughs> Turret fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my wax cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words even as they moved through the air today. Hearken, friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes. Oh crap, I gotta watch those. I think I missed some of them. With his, his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fagin, I I see to it that wow. this wax cylinder hang machine on, hang on, hang on. safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in the office on the second floor of the church. Meh. Friends, we are adjourned. Return now to your duties. Okay. That's not a great key, but it's not the worst. So, okay, so Rick, whenever Karis does his line where he goes, who is Karis but the hand of the builder? I, I go like, what? Because I think that you've put your audio file into the game with you speaking it. I'm like, <laughs> anyway. Because you get that part so on. Oh. Um. Office on the second floor is not great, but yeah, like I say, the best is the factory key. The worst might be the catacombs key or the east tower key or something, or the west tower. The tower keys are really bad because they're dangerous. I should talk about ladders when I come across a ladder. I'll, I'll sort of discuss if I if I can. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hard save here too. I'd like to get a copy of that key myself. Okay, so there's a, there's a piece of loot there that you can get, so... Well... <coughs> okay, um... So you're gonna want to make the circle through these quarters, even if the keys are not here. The key can be here. Hang on just a second. Okay. I'd like to get a so, myself. it doesn't really matter which side you go through, you're kind of going to make the circle. So this is one of the keys it can be. Wrong key. That's a decent key, but we didn't get that one, so... Instead, <laughs> just get all the loot here. Key myself. 
Yeah. Thanks. Oh, you can get it on GOG or Steam. I would get the GOG version personally because I think it's better patched. And yeah, so you get the loot in the middle there. There's nothing in either of these chests. It's just a troll mace and then nothing. And then there's some loot there. This is another key it can be. Gog is the best place, I really. Get a copy of that key myself. So it's it's going to be impossible for me to explain what to do with every single key, but like I say, you just got to do the best you can, trying to keep on route but also accommodating the key location. So get the loot there. So once, oh, I forgot to get this. So once you've been through there, now if you had a good key, like the factory key, you would just immediately go down here to the factory. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. Oops. Well, GOG is better than Steam because Steam is going to put it in like your program files folder and you have to take it out of there and it's going to be like a total pain. And Unless, of course, you want to use the Steam like time plate or screenshots feature, I guess, but like... I don't know. I don't like all that stuff, so I just... I'd like to get a copy of that key myself. I appreciate GOG's download it once, own it forever, full customizability, do what you want with it kind of style. But that's just me. Okay. So now you could just go through here, that's valid, but what I'm going to do instead is once I've gotten all the loot here from the chair and, and all of that, I go outside and then I jump up on the roof because there's a bunch of loot here too. Now there's a, a female archer coming so it looks like, it, like we have time, but that female archer you have to watch for where she's patrolling. If she's kind of in your face then you got to wait, but it looks like we have time. So. If she's kind of over there, then you can just run into this shadow. And if you're really feeling ballsy, you could run into this shadow. So I think we've even got time to do that. But yeah, the first shadow is definitely safe if she's way over there. Second is like if you're feeling stupid and like a show off, I guess. But. Regardless of what you do, you want to bop her out, go in here. Now, if your key is this key, then you want to get that key. But you actually want to get that key regardless. Because it's going to be one of the that keys the right key. that opens the front door of the cathedral. So this is just the easiest one to get because we're always going to want to come in here to get the loot anyway. There's nothing in there. There's a healing potion in here if you really want it. It doesn't really take any time to get. And then there's also this here, which you don't really need to get that because it's only 15 loot. And you'll probably end up more than that over the goal anyway, but you can get it if you want. Okay, so now that we know what to do up there... Now, we're going to try to go out the front doors of the cathedral. Now, if we get a bad key, then it might not be faster to do that, but oftentimes it is faster to do that. Oh, whoops. This key will kind of suck up that your wasn't the right key. inventory frob space anyway, so, it, so get that key anyway, regardless of what it is. Come in here, grab that, knock her out. Now, I like to drag her over to darkness because there is another patrolling archer up here. Now, it's possible that you'll be done here before she causes problems, but I haven't tested that, so I just like to drag her to darkness. Here's another key that it could be. Grab the two bottles. Just grab that. There's nothing on the third floor. Run out here and grab this. Now, you could go into the towers. Okay. So... One route you can do is you can go... Rex can definitely beat Nexus this time, or at least give her a run for her money, I think. If you want to go into the towers, you want to put the torch out without, without being, like, over here so that the guard doesn't see you. But I just want to... I'm not going to take this route, but I do want to just use this opportunity to explain something. Okay, listen up, because this is important, everybody, okay? <laughs> this, is a, this is a technique you can do. If you are in a situation 
where you need to open a door or, or you just need to know if someone is watching you but you don't want them to see you, you can inch your way out to just see the tiniest part of the AI, whether it's a camera or a human. See, I can see a tiny part of her face, a sliver of her face, and I can see she's facing me, but she can't see me. But I'll, I'll be able to tell when she turns around. Okay, so that's what you do. You just inch so that you can just barely see their face and they can't see you. And uh, we're gonna use that in the bank, but that's just a good technique to know. Okay. But I'm not actually going to go to those towers. I would have to go to those towers if I'd gotten a tower key. So, let me just actually, let me just, let me just say, let's say we did get a tower key. Okay, she's here. So, we would want to put this torch out. I just want to get rid of everybody here. You obviously wouldn't want to just wait around for her, I guess. But, like, I'm just going to demonstrate some things in case you do end up here. Thanks. No, they shouldn't. <laughs> God, no. I think it's tuned that way because it would just feel unfair, like it's a feel thing. It's probably because it's just not precise enough for you to feel like it was fair if you got seen when it didn't look like it, maybe. I don't know. But, okay, let's say you've taken them out. So, ladders. Let me, let me say a few things. So, in the options screen, in the game options, there is attach ladders, jump, or touch. So, if you set it to jump... No, it wasn't better in old Dude, that's that's just a design thing. Like seriously, because like you know how their 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 heads move? Well like if it counted as like it's not anywhere precise enough. They see from like a big block in their bodies, and I'm pretty sure their head movement animation doesn't count. So like if if their head technically if their eyes weren't seeing you but then their head just moved with the animation so that they did, it would feel unfair because it could also be moved back the other way but still count probably. I don't know. But Tuning is not about realism, it's about whether it feels fair and feels right. But anyways, ladders, if you... I'm trying to explain ladders. So if you if you set it to jump, then if you just run up against a ladder, you will not grip onto it. It's only if you jump that you'll grip. On the other hand, if you set your ladders to... Uh, <laughs> you should be caught. <laughs> okay. If you set to just touch, then even just running up against a ladder... Now, touch is probably better overall. I set it to jump from my run, and that's simply because of muscle memory, because there was one ladder... There was one... Because the thing is, if you set your ladders to touch and you run up against them, and then you jump, you will just jump off them and you'll clack on the floor. And my muscle memory was to jump at ladders, so if that's your muscle memory too, you might want to keep it at jump, because there's a place in uh, Cargo, for example, you go up the ladder to the lighthouse, and if you instinctively touch the ladder and then jump, You'll jump off, you'll clack, and then the guard up in the lighthouse will alert, and you won't be able to get his key. And that is, in fact, why I just left it at jump, even though if you had the proper muscle memory, touch would probably just be better. But I'm going to keep it at jump because that's what my muscle memory is, so... Well, the AI was really good for the time, but, like, it's just, you know, they could do so much at the time and all that. So that's, that's the thing with ladders, so... Ladders are really dangerous, though, all around, because if you get a tower key, jumping off ladders is a risky and scary thing when you can't save and reload. Because if you got that key up there, you would have to get off the ladder, and sometimes it just jumps short and you fall and die, so it's terrifying, but there's not nope. much you can really do. So if you were to get that key, you just have to come up here and freaking shit your pants and just hope you don't die. <laughs> so, yes. Getting off of ladders, if it's on jump, do you have to jump off? And if touch, can you just walk? No, you can't walk off if it's touch, because once you're on a ladder, you just stick. Because otherwise it wouldn't work, right? Oops, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, if it's, let's see, if it's on, if it's on touch, like, walking off doesn't make sense, because, like, I'm trying to walk off now, but you just stick, because that's how it has to work. Now, I'm not sure how it would work if you were at the top of a ladder and it was, like, on there, it's possible it would be a little different. I, I just don't know. I don't have much experience with the touch setting. So, oh, on the ground? Oh, let me, okay, let me try that. Let me try that. Uh, okay, so we're on the ladder. Okay. We can walk off on touch. I'm 
pretty sure you can walk off on jump two. Am I wrong? Yeah, you, you just you can always walk off. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure of the details of it. God bless EA. Oh yeah, sorry, I have EAX on. I like it on. That's just my preference. All right, so that's that. So so if you did come and get the key, then then what you'd want to do is you'd want to grab this loot. Oops. Hopefully not do that. Go down the ladder, grab this loot. And then come over to this side. Now this room is easier because you can kind of just lean and, and shoot. Oops. Shoot the torch. And you can actually see her by just leaning out in the dark. So you can even just walk up to her in the dark. She's much easier. Get the healing if you want. I don't know. And then go down here. And get the loot here. Then, oops, then you're pretty close to the loot goal of 1,200, but we're going to, this guy's going to be over here because the convo will be over. We're going to flash bomb him, take him out. This guy won't hear it, so just run up behind him. Take him out. Oops. That wasn't the right key. So, because we... We got the key in the second floor of the church, which I forgot to get because you probably told me that in the chat and I probably just missed it. Maybe not. That was super dumb of me, though. It's just, it's, if you're used to... The, the problem with these keys is the chance of any one of them being the right key is, like, not very much, so you get used to skipping them. And in fact, if you get the factory key, one time I got the factory key and I was so used to it just not being that key that I just ran right past it because my muscle memory wasn't to grab that key. So it's like you're in the weird situation where for any given key, your muscle memory will be just don't grab it. It's weird. So you just have to deal with it. But anyways, so like that's what you would do if you got the, the crappy key in the tower. But otherwise, let's see what you would do if you got a semi-reasonable key like we did this time. On. And again, depending what key you get, like if we got one of the keys in here, I would just go straight to the basement right now, but since, so if the key you get is in that half, then I'm going to go to the basement later, but if it's in this half, I'm going to go to the basement now kind of thing, so... <laughs> Builder's sake, what was that? Oh. Okay. But we always want this key because it'll take us out the front door. That no wasn't what. the right key. So this is timing here because the key is we want to be fast because those guys are going to have their conversation. So we want to quickly. I better come back here and replace this key when I'm done with it. We're trying to beat those guys' conversation, sort of. Okay. So we're going to go straight down here. Oh, meeting. I had forgotten that today was the date. Hey guys, that's an unpracticed strat that doesn't work. Let's just pretend that never happened. If you if you get the flash bomb at the right place, I'm sure you could do that. But let's just let's just instead do this slightly slower strat. Just know that's going to be the faster one if you can aim properly. But since I have only done that one time ever, let's just pretend it's not even a thing. <laughs> But that's an idea for you. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
I think there's another thing about mantling that I, I should talk about later if I can remember. Okay. That wasn't the right key. Let me just, okay, let me, let me see if, because all this is second nature, I forget to even talk about it. So with mantling, like, if you mantle up on this, say, if you just hold down the mantle <sighs> key, you see how long that takes for you to fully stand up? <sighs> Whereas if you hold down the mantle key just long enough for you to get up but then release it immediately... <sighs> See, that's how long it takes me to get walking if I just hold it. But if I if I do the release, then I can sort of start walking faster, if, if you kind of see. So I always, always, always just do the release, because it just lets you start walking faster. So that's what you'll see me doing. That wasn't okay. the right key. Okay, so the strat that I actually know works is you just straight up go in here, grab that, and like I said, they're on way low alert when they're conversing, so you can just run by them, they're freaking blind. Come in here, and they'll finish their convo like about halfway through that lock. Well, maybe they'll finish it right about when you finish lock picking. Then you just wait for that guy to walk over there. And if, if you can time it right, you can get in behind them. But if you don't, then you can just flash bomb them like normal. So, like, if you're fast, you can go like this. But if you're not, you can just flash bomb them the way I showed you before. And then you end up in the same place as before. Take him out. You take him out. Now, if the shed key was your key, then the other two keys that will unlock the front door, according to someone in the chat, is this one and then this one. So you always have at least one key that can unlock the front door. I forgot to get some piece of loot somewhere. Okay. So the thing is, you don't have to do that. Um, now, wait a minute. This is a really complicated mission to explain, as you see. There's a lot that can go differently. So... So there's an archer who patrols who, who patrols this way, so she'll come out of that door. But if you, if you just take the timing good, then she won't be anywhere near here when you're carrying her over. So you shouldn't have to worry. I better come back here and replace this key when I'm done with it. And don't forget to take those angel statues here. No idea what thou speak on. I must learn to pay more attention, lest thee find thyself fallen by the wayside as the future passes thee by. So there is one more piece of loot downstairs by the factory, but like I said, you could get that bowl, or if you're missing other loot, there's one piece of loot there. There's a little tiara over there, but we're going to be fine. So so if you can get out of here fast enough, then it doesn't really matter if she alerts because you're kind of going to be down here while she's throwing her tantrum up there. So Yeah, totally. So the piece of loot down here is, under the stairs is an angel statue. Now, so that's our loot goal. Now you want to put out this and this. Now you could probably just put out the second one. You might not have to put out the first, but I like to put out them both. So here, like I said, the conversation alert level is very low. So you just run right through the light and quickly into the dark, bop her. He's just going to go, oh, I guess we're done. And you bop him, okay? 
So now you're in here, you're in the factory. Now if you're lucky, you just get the factory key. It's no big secret fast. the mechanists are the ones supplying Sheriff Truett with those machines. If the robot is in your way, then you can choose to arrow him. Otherwise, just do the thing in there. Now you have to remember where you got your key so you can go and put it back. So we got ours on an annoying place. So actually I shouldn't have alerted that guard because she's going to be up here while I'm trying to put it back. So you can go up here and go up the stairs if you feel like you're safe. Or you could... Yeah, just watch out for her. Like, you could creep crouch crawl around the pulpit if you feel like not alerting her. So you could go up the roof a second time and, and go into here. This is not a great key, really. But... Oh, there's another one. Why the hell are there two? Oh, because they were in the tower. So that's not... Don't do what I did there. You should really just not alert the mechanist to begin with, but... <laughs> if you can go out the front, then it's good. But, like, sometimes it isn't faster. If you have to put your key back, like, say in the factory or in the guards quarters then it probably it may not be faster to go out the front depending on where you end up but you know 200 db <laughs> yes so that was 10 minutes 52 seconds that's a pretty good time like if i hadn't spent time pausing and explaining then that could be a little bit lower but like yeah 10 like sub 11 minutes high 10 minutes kind of range is like a good time for that route so yeah so let's get out of this terrible mission and go on to the next one Bank, this is a brilliant, fun, awesome mission. So now, like, there's a there's a really fast route you can do, which is absolutely terrifying and dangerous because two big bots might get in your face. I don't know how to make it safe. Other people than me do it. It's crazy. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take the slower route. It's going to be probably in the seven-minute range, but you can get it in the five-minute range if you take the insane person's route. But I'm not going to do that. So, the bank. I'm going to buy three flash bombs because you want safeties. I don't really need to buy anything else, but I guess I'll just buy some moss arrows because it's like, whatever. So, immediately you just go straight ahead, you get your blackjack out, you're going to take all three of these guys out. Bop, bop, bop. You bop, and you bop, and you bop, and absolutely nothing else, or no innuendo at all. Okay, you just keep running forward, get your triangle lock pick out. And run all the way around. So again, this is not the fastest route at all. But this is the route that I take. I want to be absolutely clear. So if you say that's not optimal, I know. It's nowhere near optimal, but it is safe. Now, with this window, a lot of times you get blocked. So what I do is I, I go back, I stand up, I rush at it when I'm standing, and then I, I just duck under. And then you usually don't get blocked. So we're actually going to get 200 loot in the bank because we're going to want to buy one flash bomb for the next mission, Blackmail, and it doesn't really take much extra time to get the loot in bank. It's literally all on route. We're probably losing like five seconds or something to get it. It's nothing. So I'm going to tell you what the pieces of loot are. First one is in here. The first left room, grab the candlestick. Some people in this city are too rich for their own good. Lucky they have me to give them a hand. Okay, so if you see the guy coming down here, then try to hide and bop him out. If you don't see him, then just run past him that way. It's kind of a, a bit of RNG here. It'll lose you time, but it's just one of those things that... So if you want to be super fast, you can kind of go over this way and, like, somehow finagle your way up here or you could go around you don't really lose much time going around and I'm I haven't practiced going mantling yet so okay so the thing is let me let me just explain this better because I don't want to just rush too much without explaining what I'm doing so some people in this city are too rich for their own good Lucky they have me to give them a hand. Okay. Now, if he's further up there, you can kind of run into that shadow and it'll just be a little faster. So 530 and I think, yeah, well, uh, I don't know how to do that and guarantee that I won't die, though. Like, I can, if 
I figure it out with more practice, maybe I could, but I, I don't know it right now, so. Because it if you go through... I'm just forgetting. Never mind. Okay, so we come across this. You don't need to shoot a moss on this because this is far enough away that you're not going to get hurt. But do shoot a moss on this one, okay? Just run over here. This is the this hallway is the fastest way. You shouldn't have any bots coming in here the first time you come through. They should all be over here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really need to shoot here. You can kind of creep, crouch, crawl around a corner, but you have ample mosses. Do shoot one here though, because it'll make it faster for jumping up later and safer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Rex. Gotta concentrate. Okay, so here, this room has got a big bot going over there, which can see you. It's got this row of tiles, which will open up this thing in the wall, and then there'll be a turret over there. So, which, what I do is I take one moss arrow. So, like, what you could do, there's sort of a couple things you could do. You could wait for that bot to be facing that way. You could just run around this way, around the tiles. That's one thing you can do. You can shoot a moss. Now, if you shoot a moss on the tile, it weirdly, like, won't spread. Oh, it will. It will spread to the sides. It just won't look like it. Okay, never mind. My bad. So I guess you can just shoot a moss on the tile. <laughs> but what I what I did, because I didn't know that, was I just shot a, mouse, a moss over this side. Then you can jump over here. And what happens is when you come back, you will run over this tile. That thing will open. But you'll be out of here and you'll never come back, so it doesn't matter is the thing. But, like, I guess you can just shoot it on the tile and it's fine, so... Pfft. Like I say, you, you can't know everything. You just don't have time. So jump over the thing. Now, there's a camera over here. You can just run over it and ignore the tower. Will it close up by the time you come back, though? Okay, well, I guess you can do that, but, like, I don't know. This is the route I took. So there's a camera over there. You need to get in there. Now, what you can do... And I guess maybe what you're intended to do is you can flip this switch, go back, run in, turn the lights off. Now, it doesn't turn the camera off, but it just turns the lights off. So this is probably the, what you're intended to do. So you can be in the dark and you can hit that switch and all. But... So apparently you can do that. I don't know. But what you can do instead, you can just run under. So, okay, I'll show you what I actually... You can run underneath cameras and they won't see you when you're under them. But what I do is like a timing-based thing. I basically... I basically run and I actually let it see me. So I can turn it around this way. And then the thing is I'm going to hit this switch like right away when I come here. And then it's going to turn around that way. And then that gate's going to start opening. And by the time the camera will sort of start turning back that way. I'm going to have time to slip into the gate without it alerting again, if I can get it sort of right. So... So here, let it see you. Hit the switch, pull it all the way around. And then it will take a while to turn, and then you can just slip in there before it can turn again, okay? So, now, Weird this... Contraption. Let's see what these controls do. Really, literally all you do is middle left, middle right, bottom right. It's really just as simple as that. So, that's the fastest thing I know. We're going to run back out. We're not going to worry about... Yeah, don't jump over there. We're not going to worry about triggering that thing because we're never coming back there. Now, the reason we put the moss here is so we can just quickly jump and not have to worry about quietly mantling. Just quickly, quickly jump. There could well be a bot traffic jam in this hallway. It looks like we may have avoided that this time, but there's not much you can do about it. Just kind of try to hide and let them go past. Now, even if they fully alert, it doesn't matter because they're just going to run around in there. They're going to grab the big bots, but they won't chase you out here because they won't even know you're here. Oh, yeah. The quickest way to do it is just to mantle there. It saves you, like, maybe two seconds. I don't know. It's, it doesn't really matter. Now... There is a small chance that one camera in the level will be deleted. That might be the camera. There's a very small chance that camera won't be there, and then you get lucky because you can just run up there. But otherwise, you're going to want to... It's a weird thing, but like otherwise, you're going to want to put that out. Now, for Rick's Titanium rules, we do have to get the code. We don't actually have to do it to finish the level because the game will just cancel it. 
but we're going to get it because that's what I did in the contest. So you wait for the camera to turn that way. We've wasted too much time already. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> So wait till it's turned to the right. And quickly run through this door, open it, then close it so you don't get seen. Now, you don't necessarily have to moss this floor, but it just makes it a bit faster because you can just fall onto it. So here's the other, the second piece of loot we're going to get. Just moss the floor there quickly, grab it. You want to use this water arrow on the torch. This is vital because otherwise you're going to be in trouble when you run out. Okay. If, if your timing is good, this watcher will be turned this way right from the start, but you want to run up here, grab the piece of loot, then kind of go in like a triangular pattern over here. Quickly go through the door so you don't get seen. Now to find some useful information. <sighs> yeah, get the number, and then you can just drop it if you want to clear out your inventory. You still have it, right? Then it doesn't even matter where the camera is. Just run, even if you get seen. If you put this torch out, you'll be in darkness before you can get third alerted. Now... It's just a bit faster to, like, fall here. Okay. So now we're going to use that trick where we just inch. Okay, see how we can see where it's turning, but it can't see us? More fun? Yeah, well, I guess so. You can hide behind the pillar if it sees you, but we're going to go over here. Now, the fast way is to just run over here. Drop a flash bomb if you need to, and then just go up. You know, drop another one. Like if you, if you, if you know, like if you're fast on your feet and you got your flash bomb bound and you're ready for that guy to possibly be there, you can just kind of do the fast thing there. Otherwise, if you're not confident with that, you can just wait. And you see that guy will go over there, and then you can kind of just. Run out, close this door so you don't get seen by the camera. Okay, so that guy, but you always have to be ready because this guy might come out there. I mean, it's it's kind of just like, it's a good strat to know for this run in general is how to just run right into guys' faces and just drop a flash bomb and just take them all out. Now, obviously you don't want to do that with archers, but if they've got uh, limited range weapons like the swords or whatever, then you can often just run right into a guy's face, drop a flash bomb, and it won't even be inconsistent. Like, if you know where he's going to be, we're going to use that strat in masks. So, yeah, like, just just be ready for it, though. Like, run out and, and be ready if you see guys. So, you see, I flashed, and it went off right in my face, and it didn't really matter, because my eyes got unblinded way faster than the guards did. So, what you want to do is climb up here. This guy... This guy may or may not be on this balcony. So the thing with this guy is he's carrying a key. We don't need this key. Sorry, I'm trying to explain and it's being too slow. We don't need this key, but if he's right there and you have to flash him anyway, you might as well grab it because it just makes it a tiny bit faster later on because we won't have to pick a door. Okay? But if he's not on the balcony, don't go try to find him because this hallway's got cameras and all kinds of crap. If he's not here, then just run straight into this room and don't worry about the key because you don't need it. It's just like an opportunistic thing. What was that? I see you there. Hold it right where. Oh, uh, not clean. Uh, hey. Not more than be recognized. Uh, so this time we kind of got a bad pattern where all three guards are here, but. Oops. But again, none of them are archers, so even if you make noise, <laughs> as long as you know how to just kind of run, because you can outrun them, drop a flash bomb. You're not in really much danger here. But anyways, once you've done that one way or another, you come to this room. This robot, you can take him out if you want. If he's kind of in your way, you can kind of just... You don't want him alerting anybody, just take him out because... You want to tap on the tile so we can get this other piece of loot. That's 150 loot. Now, if you did want to sneak through this room, you could kind of creep, crouch, crawl up on here. And you could just sneak through here. And if you wanted to, you could shoot a moss onto this floor and grab the... Uh, Grab the vase. So to do the sneaky route, you would do that, you would do this. And you could just let the bot go. Okay, now this is a bit slower of course, but whatever. 
You don't really need to turn that light off either. So I'm just going to try to do this a bit faster. I have heard, I do not know. I said faster. But you need to get that loot, because we need 200 and we're only going to get that much. So this room, what I do is I shoot a moss here, I shoot a moss here, and I just jump across. Now you want to shoot the rope right about on this side of, those, of this gap in the ceiling. Shoot it like right about there. So you can see kind of like at that end of the gap. So you can jump right there. So you can maybe even shoot a little more towards the middle. That would probably also work. Yeah. Oops. But you do want to moss the floor, because otherwise you'll alert everybody. So yeah, maybe like more towards the middle or that end of this. That kind of range sort of works. Oops, I didn't register my jump. So once you're here, lean against the door so that you can hear the two bots in here because there's two big bots circling, and what you're looking for is to hear them. If you hear them stomping, then you know you don't have to wait because you know that they're already, that they just went that way so that you have enough time to run through. If you don't hear them stomping, then you have to wait because then you don't know where they are. Do you get me, right? So, okay. So fall here so as not to get seen by the camera. Now, this door is the one we we can use this key for, but if we don't have it, we can just pick it. It's just that if you do have the key, it's a little bit faster, so it doesn't really matter that much either way. But let me see. Okay, so it's one, two, three notches down from the end of the inventory. Two, three. So just open the door, turn off the camera. This is our last piece of loot. Now we're going to have 200 even, except we're not because I missed one. Oh, wow. This whole entire play did not even happen. Okay, so the thing is, if, if you missed one, you're going to have to roll with the punches there, and I'll, I'll sort of tell you how to do that. So the thing that it's easy to miss, and I know which one I missed too, the thing that's easy to miss, I'll show you what it is. What play, exactly. At least the one that I always forget, or that I have forgotten twice. But now that I don't have to explain everything, I can just blaze through it, so. Get back. Some people in this city are too rich for their own good. Lucky they have me to give them a hand. Okay, he's not there, so I'm just gonna run. I'll explain it again. We'll go and watch the VOD then. Yeah. Controls too. Yeah, see, now there's going to be a traffic jam probably, so. Yeah, so again, that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Don't panic if that happens. You will be out of here way before they even know the hell what's going on. So. <laughs> the thing that I miss is this other box. So this one has a flare in it. 
this one has got the loot piece, so that's the one that is easy to miss for me, because I just... If I shoot this torch first, then I just forget it, because I just go up here first, so that's the one I missed. Okay. sort of triangle pattern there. Now to find some useful information. <laughs> See, if you don't get that guard, he might be in your way, which is actually a problem. Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just roll with the punches here and act like, you know what? We missed that loot. What do we do? I mean, the answer is obvious. You go back and get it, but like, yeah. So let's say we only have 175 there. We're going to go, crap, but then we're going to go, okay, roll with the punches, never mind. So, okay, the fast thing you can do in here now is just I run under here, but, thief. like, I'm not very Wants practiced with right this strat. Bank vault. Time to find the recording. And it's really, really dangerous if you screw it up and get the alarm triggered. It's like now I know I'm a almost certain thief. death. So what I Waltzing do right into a bank is I go around the perimeter and I just recording. be slow and cautious. Because there's a lot more dark around the perimeter and you can also hide behind these pillars easier. And you can hide from that camera up there easier too. So you just kind of go around keeping an eye on that camera up there when you're over here. But if you're under that one, then this one can't see you. And if you're in dark, then that one can't see you. So this is a safe place. Now, what you want to kind of do is wait for this camera to be in a position where while you're going up, it's going to be turned away. So you can, so right about there when it's starting to be turned this way, you want to time it so it's turned away because you can put this behind a pillar, put that camera behind a pillar, and that's going to be turned away. That way you're safe when you're going up, okay? Now, this camera is going to be blocked by this pillar when you're going up the ladder. It, so, like, even if he sees you, literally, like, you're going to be running. At, as long as you're past this pillar, there's literally no place here where he can see you, you see? So, you can just, like, even, I'm pretty sure, like, even, even if you were over here and, like, he saw you, like, right here, you could even just run and you're totally safe so one two and three notches grab the box some people like to jump and try to grab the ledge i don't do that i just be safe circle around now you can't see this camera here very well so it, you can't really time it so that it's in the right place when you go down so you have to just make sure that one's facing away as much as you can so that you can quickly just run and hide under that one if you see then I just take the nice slow safe dark path around the edge just wait just run close the vault door now that was wrong. Oh, he's... When you save and load, these cameras are at different positions. But that was how it was. I forgot. Okay. These robots, you don't know where they are. So, you can wait, or if you're feeling suicidal, you can just run and hope. Yeah, see? Like, I've just been running and hoping. It's not really a good idea, but, like, whatever. So, just jump back on the rope. Okay. Now, if you did get all the loot, we're just going to pick these doors, and there's going to be a balcony right out here. 
and you would just end the mission right there. But because we forgot the loot, instead we're going to do the walk of shame all the way back here. So you just jump up on here, put a rope down there. Avoid the camera if he is looking at you, otherwise... Just go down, and since we're down here, we might as well just quickly run back to where we started. This is, this is slow. And actually, you know, like, you could probably, like, if you did find yourself... If you did find yourself short of loot, you should probably not go this long way. You should probably just accept it and just not buy the flash bomb in the next mission, because you don't need it. It just makes things faster. So the choice is yours. Like, it's way faster to just not use the flash bomb in the next mission than it is to go all the way back here and get it. But, like, I'm going to get the loot so that I can show you the route where you do buy the flash bomb is the thing. So, so that's the bank. I messed up a lot there, but you can see that if you just, if you remember all the loot and you do it step by step, it's really, really by the numbers. And as long as you remember to, like, bop that guard, I guess. So don't do the strat where you ignore the guard. The first guard who comes down the ramp, I guess, is the lesson here. <laughs> Blackmail. Okay, this is really fast and really efficient. Uh, if you get everything going perfectly, you can get us about six minutes or maybe even sub six minutes if things go like exemplary. So we'll see. But I'll try to explain what I'm doing, and I'll explain the alternate routes and why I don't take them, because there's a speedrun route you can take, which is like about as fast or a little faster, but it's really dangerous, and it, the decisions are really different. This, this is a really interestingly laid out mission, which it's basically, it is a mansion, but it's not like what you would think it would be. With a mansion, you'd think, well, it's just a square, so you can come at it from any direction and whatever, but you really can't. It's cunningly designed so that your routes are circuitous, even though you think they wouldn't be. So let's just start, okay? So you start, you're going to buy one flash bomb. You're going to start the mission. Now, immediately, you're going to land here. But, like, right when you start the mission, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the right side of this tree and jump up. Mantle, do the quick mantle, and fall over here. You will get yellow alerted by that watcher, but it doesn't matter because we're not actually going to go anywhere will that work, where that will cause us trouble. So the fastest thing you can do is just immediately after you start, you just mantle. You will get yellowed, but you just go right through this window, and now you're in here. Now, you want to get this loot. Now, there's a lot of stuff around it that'll frob you, so you might accidentally frob that. So you want to be just a little bit slow and sort of stand at a place where you know... Like, don't try to just rush. Just kind of stand like this so you know it's selected. Take a second and then get that, okay? So uh, this mission really depends on timing, so I'm kind of going to try not to waste time here. But just as fast as possible, you get in here, you get this loot, then you're going to go back. Now, this is just a tiny thing that doesn't really matter, but if you can get out the window standing and just hold the mantle key, you can just mantle like this, and it's a little faster than just hitting the ground and, and mantling, so, you know, but if you do have to hit the ground, that's fine. But again, you're going to get yellow alerted when you climb, but just run to this side so that, you, so that the watcher doesn't alarm. And then you're going to go in this window. So let me just, yeah, let me just do that from the start again. Circle quickly around and then go in this window. Don't bother to close the window. You don't need to. Grab that. Go up the stairs. Now there's a watcher. The watcher is pointing right through the window, so ordinarily you might not want to yellow alert him, but it actually doesn't matter. He'll probably be on yellow anyway, and again, we're not ever actually going out there, so you don't have to do anything special. Just grab the candlestick. But if you wanted to do the maneuver to try to avoid the alarm, then what you could kind of do is, like, inch over here, and then just, like, go, and then back, but it doesn't really matter. Just grab it. Blackjack ready. 
Don't forget this. You don't need to blackjack it's that guy. You can just run right out here. So you see I fell. It's not a big deal. Go around here. You should have 275 by this point. Who made that noise? Take that guy out. Get all his loot. You should have 300. Now here's a place where your ladder uh, setting will matter. If you've got touch, you can just walk up to it. But if you've got jump, you can just... You should jump. Now, here's the thing. There's a piece of loot over here. You see we've got 300 loot now. If we take this, we're going to have 315. We are not going to take this loot because we're going to end up just barely over what we need. And this this 15 loot, like if we skipped another piece of loot along the route, this 15 would not make up for it, if you see what I'm saying, right? So this 15 isn't going to help us either hit our loot goal or get anything over it that will let us buy anything of worth. So we're not actually going to get it because it just wastes time. So let's play up to where we are in real time. <sighs> I need a nap. So we are kind of on the clock here due to some timing. Is so someone there? Just make sure you've got the right loot. Try to keep an eye on it. 300 is what you want here. You want to go out this window, and you want to make you want to like you want to blackjack her right as you fall. So that's why you want her to be timed such that she's walking that way, so that you don't have to waste any time waiting for her. Oops. And again. It doesn't matter if that other guard sees you because you're going to run right around into shadows. And in fact, even if she starts chasing you, you can usually even save it, so it's not really a big deal. Not that it's a guarantee, but I have saved it a couple of times when she's chased me because there's a lot of dark. Right, so you see, that time I missed it, so she's chasing me. But you're just going to run around in the darkness, and this whole house is dark, so don't sweat it if that does happen. Strange you don't need to knock that guy out. Just grab his candlestick. Now, you see, I kind of went, like, mantled up here and then immediately turned around and just went a little forward and mantled up here. It's a bit of a tricky maneuver, but it, it's, it's a little faster than climbing the stairs. But, yeah, you see, here's the sort... So even if she chases you all the way into the dark, you can just lead her all the way up here. There's plenty of space to maneuver. You can run. And she won't even... So that's like the absolute worst case. She hits you once, you don't die, you run through here. Like, that's the worst case that can happen, and you can still probably get out of it, okay? So don't sweat it too much. Just, like, remember the darkness is your friend, and... If you need to take more time to wait for them to calm down, just wait, and, and don't try to do anything stupid. And so, yeah. So the loot route is really tight on this. That's why we're getting specifically all of the stuff we're getting. There's really no room. I like seeing things I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to clack on that, I guess, if you can help it. So, lesson there. But that's the normal way to do it. That other guard is seconded, but she won't be anywhere near you. Strange breaths. And that's how you do it. If you don't want to mantle the edges, just run up the stairs normally. It's fine. 350 is what you absolutely need by the time you get here. So, now, the thing is, we're going to take this side entrance. Now, let me show you a whole other route you can do if you want. Oops. 
And this is what Nexus does, and it's probably just a little bit faster, but... I don't know her whole route, I haven't studied it, but like, the beginning of it... ...is that you start out the same, But then when you get into this guy's house... Who's that? <laughs> Who's making those noises? Rather than continue on that way, you actually just go out the front door and then you say, okay... Strange. Pop him, turn the lights out, put the gate up. Shoot a rope up here. Except, it's see, I haven't practiced this. I'm just kind of showing it off. And Something I'm going to explain why I don't do this, too. <laughs> yeah, because HD Mod makes the candles put out a bowl, which changes the gameplay. So, her... Yeah, see, I, I don't know how to do this route, which is why it's not working for me. I guess you have to put the rope, like, slightly differently placed. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this full route, I just kinda wanna show it. I wanna show how you would start it and, like, just explain why I'm not doing it, because it seems like it would be a lot faster, because you don't have to go around the side of the house. I'm going to explain why it, it's not as much faster as it seems, and I kind of have to, like, show it to sort of demonstrate oh, yeah. that. <gasps> Who made that noise? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> So I guess you would probably like put it closer to the wall, maybe. That's even problematic, but yeah, the idea is you get up here. See what I mean? There's a way to do this, but I just don't know exactly what the strat is. There we go. Hit this. Okay, somebody saw me. But, like, the basic idea is, you go in here. Now, the speed run just barges right in through the front doors, and that's really dangerous. But you could also... You could also go under here. This is what I saw Nexus do. You go to the basement. Now, if you... The thing is, if you look at the map... Um, we start here, and so normally you'd go all the way across here. Like, you'd go down there, all the way across, all the way across than back, which is like, that's really long. So you'd think, well, why don't you just cut straight through? That must be shorter. But the thing is, you come out into the basement and you can't really... Like, this just takes you back outside. Um, this is going to take you up to sort of the wrong side of the house to even be useful. Like, what you want is to get over that side so that you can get the key to the second floor and all that, so you're over here, you're walking all the way over to that side already, so like, and, and then even if you're here, you have to take this long path through the basement. Sir, was that you? you have to avoid this guy and probably like wait for him, uh, didn't right? You can't do anything here because that's like a come up from it only place. Then there's this guy who could be turned any which way. Yeah, so like, this is a good turn, but he could also be turned to now. face you. But like, you're already sort of coming all the way over here. You're coming all the way up here. And then you want to take these guys out, Can but then... This mess they expect us to clean up? Other guards are walking, more, so you can't. So it's like really slow. Some woman in the kitchen. Right here! Uh. 
like I don't know. Uh, Nexus makes it fast, so there's probably a way to make it fast. But like it, it's not as easy as you think, right? You can't just like plow straight through the center. You kind of get stopped and turned and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't take this route because it's just it's dangerous and it's not as straightforward as you think. So my route that just goes this way is really fast still, even though it seems like it wouldn't be. Because you're kind of either paying this price now or you're paying it later. If you pay the walk now, you don't have much of a long walk to do at all later. I should, I should explain tunnels like this too. In the game, if there's a tunnel where it's like shorter than your standing height, you can stand up still and you'll count as like walk, you'll, you'll run at the same speed as you would when you're standing so you can be faster. But as you see, I got stuck there. So if it's just a flat ceiling, you can just stand up and just run. But if it's a ceiling that's kind of tilted and it's got like weird tilted edges, then you're liable to get stuck if you do that. And if you get stuck, then you might waste more time unsticking yourself than you do just crouch walking. So I usually just don't take the micro optimization and I just crouch walk through because at least then it's consistent. So that's that's the, the deal with that. Also, if you're using the non-resource fixed version, then this path will be even more annoying to get through because it's like sunken with with like a sunken path under it. But like regardless, just whatever. We're not going to do anything with the graveyard because that's just a bonus easter egg thing that we don't need to do. So this route is actually going to skip the first floor and go straight to the second floor. And it's very, very consistent. There's really only one spot of RNG. And even that's not that bad. It's just like, it's a matter of how much time you lose. It's not a matter of danger. So Hello? knock this guy right out. Take his key. Now we're not even going to go through that door. Instead, we're going to do this balcony jump, which is a little bit dangerous, but like I'm pretty consistent, but I did <laughs> fail it once on the run on the event. So I'll, uh, th there's that, but I was kind of from me trying to over, like trying to be overly careful and line it up too much because I was nervous. So we're, we're going to want to jump to this balcony. So you want to keep your balcony key out because your inventory items disappear after I think 15 seconds. Oh, that guard is a thing. So you want to kind of jump and you see if oh. you miss it, then you get hurt and you're in real trouble because then you're, you can't get hurt ever again or you're going to die. So instead of trying to jump kind of like this way, Try to jump a little bit more straight at it, like angle yourself so that your angle is not really moving along the wall, but that it's kind of moving towards it more if you can, so kind of like that. As opposed to like that, where you could, okay, I didn't miss it that time, but you could more easily miss it if you kind of try to go like that way, I think. Yeah, because then you won't move far enough forward, but if you just kind of try to move... Try to be like, move yourself forward, like a bit assertively, like you're really trying to, yeah, because otherwise, in fact, even just not angle jumping, maybe just moving forward like that might even be, it's a little bit scary, but if you can kind of get a feel for it, then you can do it most times. Okay. So you jump, and you make sure you have your balcony key out, and then you just go in the balcony. Yeah, see, that wasn't good. See, I really, I need to practice this myself more to get, like, even more of a feel for it, but that's a bit dangerous. But there was something I could have done myself. Like, you won't die if you miss it, you'll just get down to low health, and... There, there is a healing potion you can get. I mean, there's two, but there's one that's within reach. So, like, I won't get hurt, but I'll show you what to do if you did happen to get hurt. But I just want to show you the route. So get your square tooth ready right away and get your water arrows out right away. Okay? So this is timing. Okay, you're going to go. So that female guard, you see, she's going to be walking this way, and, like, the, she's your clock, so... You basically, you want to get what you got to do done before she gets too far.
So run in here and get this loot. We're going to clear this entire floor out. Okay, now you get in here, lean, put that out. Grab this loot. Put away your, your weapon so that you can stay in the dark now. You want to run across this light quickly. <clears throat> and what you want to do, so there's two positions that guy could be. He could be facing that way or he could be facing forward. Forward is what you want because you can snatch his estate key while you're kind of in the dark. Just lean in, lean forward in. If he's turned this way, you can't snatch his key and you just have to wait. And if you have to wait, so, and this is also what you do if you didn't get enough loot to buy the flash bomb, is you just wait for this female guard to come here. You lose time, but you're safe. You don't need her key, it's just the balcony key. You're not actually going to need that because you've already got it. So that's what you do if you're waiting for her. Basically, you just want to knock her out one way or the other. But if you want to do it the fast way, oops, you would have your key selected. Also, for doors, when they open towards you, you kind of want to stay to this side so that they don't open into your face and you don't get blocked and have to open them again. And also, if you're having to, like, open a door that isn't locked, like you're just having to run, you can kind of do this little maneuver where you, like, open it and then you kind of just go, like, a little bit back and around, like you're sort of just hooking around just a little bit so that it doesn't get in your face. And you can kind of keep running, if that makes sense. It's all just, like, practicing. quick okay we have to wait now <coughs> not too much okay as soon as you've got his key run out ready your flash bomb now if you if you were really fast she'd be right in that door but like this is a good position you take her out she's out of this room shoot that grab the thing grab this which is triggered by you shooting that now you don't actually have to, to take the robot out but you want to get up to Benny without him being alerted because if he's alerted you're in trouble because then he's going to come after you and you can't knock him out and you don't have another flash bomb. So don't don't alert the bot when he's around Benny. So, like, if he's around this side of the room, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to... <sighs> but you can take him out if you feel like you want to do that, but it's just a little bit faster not to. But the absolutely important thing is that you don't let Benny see you. Because once you've taken this female guard out... Oh, I should also explain, too. I should also explain, too, why we're going this way. You might know if you come up here normally, there's more guards than just that one walking around. That is because the other two who walk around are these. And they have a conversation if you get close to them. Well, I guess if you come up the stairs, they have a conversation. We don't even trigger it, so the two of the guards are out of the picture. They're just there. So this woman is the only walker. Once she's out and he's far enough over here that he won't care about any commotion over in the games room. So the woman there and then Benny in the games room are the only actual dangers on this floor. So once you've taken them out, everyone else is just peasants and robots who won't actually go for help. So that's the main thing that we're wanting to do here, the important thing. <laughs> But, like, we're going over here while she's walking in order to, again, just overlap them. The same way we did in the first mission, we're overlapping one route with something that we have to do over here so that we can sort of not consider it to have been wasted time because we would have to wait for her to come out of that room anyway. So, unfortunately, we're just stuck waiting this time. Come on! There's not much point in us using the thing Who's now. There? Just you roll with the punches with that bit of randomness. Anyway, so 
everyone is on their way. I so, once you finish clearing this room out, yeah, so she doesn't matter. Even that bot, you want to get that bottle there. Even that bot is not actually going to go for help. He's just going to run around in this room yelling. So, even that doesn't even matter. But, like, by the time you get out of this room, coins on the table, you want 795 loot. So, the coins on this table, the coins on this table, shoot this thing with a water arrow, grit the goblet, and then shooting it with a water arrow will also let you get the necklace there. So... Once you're done that, you want to go here. Now, let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, four. So if you're on the loot, you've just gotten the loot, scroll down one, two, three, four times for the estate key. Just open this door as you run past it. Open this door. Get the invis. We're going to need that invis, okay? Now, we're going to go to this part. Now... I realize that you probably don't actually have to turn this alarm off and it wastes maybe five seconds or something to do so. So I guess we could test that. Like, let's just test it. Let's say we didn't turn this off. And I'll then this camera in here is going to be running, but like I said, everyone of note is gone, so I don't actually th think it... It matters! Never mind, it matters because they'll shoot at you. Never mind then. Turn the, turn the damn thing off. <laughs> hey, testing sometimes turns out not to work. It's just, I saw someone do that. I saw someone leave it off, but I guess... Eh. I guess if you're fast, you could make it work, but it's just not really worth it. Not in a titanium run. Why don't you make this? You've made a big mistake, Tapper. Okay, so if that happens. So if if AIs are fully alerted to you, but you are in the dark and you're behind them, you can still bop them out. But if you're in the dark and in front of them, you can't. It's only if you are in the dark, in full dark, and you're behind them, you can still do it. Or you could just use your flash bomb on him and just not use it on her. But I kind of do want to... Whoops, that's the wrong one. I kind of do want to show this just done fast, though. <laughs> And like I say, you just try to remember, memorize which doors start with which pick so that you don't, like, click them on there. Like, if you do it right, then that'll never happen, but if, if you've got nerves and you just kind of... Okay, good. Slightly do it wrong, then you got to recover it. I like seeing things I don't know. Anyway, someone is on their way. Oh, over here, a stranger. He's armed. Yeah, so you see that bot, you might think he would run back and grab that guy over there. He doesn't do anything. Okay, 795. See, he just like stands around there. He doesn't even leave this room. So don't even worry. Yeah, I guess so. So, okay. Let's do it the way I always do it. I know there's a reason for my strats. So you go in here, click down to your estate key. Make the one piece of loot from here. Like I said, the loot route is really tight. We're gonna get 1200. Now we only need 1100, but we're gonna get 1200 so we can buy two invis potions for courier because courier is really dangerous. You want as many invis as you can. is three, and then you should have 1045 loot by this point. Yeah, there's a method to the madness. That's an English saying. Now, you're going to get your invis potion out. Now, when you're going to use your invis potion is right when you hear these guards start their, like, sound the alarm speech. Right as soon as you hear that, like, right... I'll kind of tell you when to use it. Get your blackjack ready. 
So you want to use it like right when you hear the speech and right when you're about here. So like about like about like here maybe is where you want to use it. About like there, yeah. Don't worry about this guy. He's gonna search. Just bump, bump that, bump that. Grab her loot. Don't worry about the golden gear. Run over here. 1095 is what you want. Quickly scroll to your state key. Unlock it. Lock it back up just in case anyone wants to come back in. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's funny how sayings that sound like. Funny how like sayings go to different languages like literally the same. It's weird. Like, you'd think they'd be different if they're a different language, but I don't know. So let's let's do that again. So grab your invis potion, grab your blackjack. You have plenty enough time while you're invisible right. to not have to worry yeah. about this guy. Why? See, he's... What happened? Okay, I guess he's not searching, but like sometimes he searches, but it doesn't Must even be. matter because if you're, if you're quick, you just bop the two guards up there and then you're out of his sight before he does anything. Sometimes they do, sometimes not. Why? What happened? Oh. Oh. Okay. See, even if I got blocked there, I still have more than enough time. See? Lock it back up. We're gonna get these two pieces of loot. We're gonna go over here. Get this last one. Then we're gonna have 1205. We need 1200, so we're only five loot over. So you see, if we'd have skipped that, but gotten the 15 loot, because that was 50. If we'd gotten the 15 loot at the beginning, we still wouldn't be at 1200. So it wouldn't have helped us, you see? Panic mode to whistle. Open that door on the way. You want to get this slow fall potion, okay? Because that's how we're going to get out of here quick. Now this room, here's where I had a problem on my run. This is how I died. I, uh, I panicked because there was an AI coming out. So... Is someone there? Make sure that the guys are out of this room unless you're feeling super brave. And you know you can handle yourself. When that guy leaves, there could be another guy coming right in. So just kind of wait a bit. I wonder what happened here. Yeah, you can hear him. So you can run if you know you have time to run. Otherwise, just be cautious. But you won't get six minutes flat like this, though. You do have to run if you want that, but... Now you know they're both out. So you can run. All you need is the key ring. Damn. Someone One, two, the sheriff. two notches up. Low profile or Open the door. As the killer. And if nobody saw you, then you're safe out here. Make sure your slow fall is activated. Jump over. Use it right about there. And you might not land on the railing. You might land on the balcony, in which case you have to just kind of jump on mantle over again. Uh, if... If you find you need to, you can kind of, like, try to aim and fall down onto this lamp post to, like, make your fall be less. So, uh, but, like, if you're not panicking and you're using the slow fall, then you shouldn't have the problem I did. In fact, even if you do fall all the way down, as long as your health is full, uh, you shouldn't die. So, I'm gonna now show you... Okay. So, let's say that you did fall trying the balcony and your health is super low and you're worried about not having that shit happen to you that happened to me. There is a healing potion that you can get near this guy. So if you if you're 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 like here, just duck underneath it, go through here. Okay. I guess state key will open that. The book to open the secret is this. There's a healing potion, you take it, and then hopefully you won't die at the end. Okay. Now that we know what we're doing, let's see how this all looks in real time. Yes. With diacritics and stuff for some reason. Guess that just makes it look fancier. Is someone there? Huh? Ooh. I don't like seeing things 
You sound like one of those spam bots trying to avoid word detection by putting random diacritics on top of things. Hmm. <laughs> and again, you see I'm just diagonally walking all the time, if you can, because it's faster. That I see. Perfect. That's what you want. Hmm. Odd noises. Another thing is, if you think that an item is going to leave your inventory before you, you can use it, just like flick to the next item and then back again to sort of like keep it up. You know, like flick like that. Okay. Hurry! Sound the alarm! Seal yeah. off the area! Why? What happened? Okay. <laughs> Be also careful not to run right off this and miss the ladder, then you'll also get hurt. Okay. So that's good. If the guard's leaving, I that wonder what happened here. means I know even if anybody runs back in, it'll be an unarmed civilian, so... Damn. Someone beat me to the sheriff. Better keep a low profile, or else I'll be pinned as the killer. him that disables item dislink. Oh, hey. <sighs> so that was a pretty good run. I'm guessing we get like low six minutes, maybe six ten or something. Interesting.
six minutes flat, right? So that's what I say. If everything goes really optimally and like just a second more and I would have, or just a second less and I would have been sub six, so yeah. I think Nexus's route can be faster than mine if it's absolutely perfect. I'll have to study it, but like this is my route and it's really, really fast still and really cool looking. <laughs> okay, next one is, yeah, six minutes. Now, again, you're sort of at the mercy of the RNG for that one guy turning around. So if you get six minutes versus like 610 or something, that may not be your fault. It may not may just be the RNG. Okay, so next is everyone's favorite mission, Courier. Now, for Courier, for obvious reasons, I won't be able to just reload and then play it out because that would take like all bloody day. So I'll just try to explain why I'm doing things and not other things on Courier so that we don't spend all day on it. Okay. Courier is really random and you have to be flexible and be willing to just roll with it more than any other mission. You have to be able to just roll with it and to let things go if they're unsafe and just come back for them later. We want to leave this mission with 500 loot. If we don't, we can pick up some extra later. But if we can leave it with 500 loot, that's good. If we can't, we're not going to put our lives on the line for it. But I'm going to try to explain all this stuff as I do it. So we're going to buy two invisors. We may not need these. We very well might not use both of these, plus the third one we get in the mission. But we want them for safety. Two invis and one flash. Why would you use a flash? Flash is going to make people be alerted at you. Like, flash is going to alert the courier or Mosley or whatever. Where would you even use a flash? Where do you use the flash? That just sounds dangerous. Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, I just do this, so. Lieutenant Mosley, out for a little stroll. Let's Wait, see where there. you take me. Let's see where you take me. Somebody okay. chopped the line, Calm so down. he's just saying, There's take me. Oh, anyway. Oh, yeah, Ada isn't here. Enjoying the fun, silly. <laughs> Jokitude, whatever. So, just take that guy out now. She might stop here. So you want to be, like, against the wall here so you're in full darkness. You want her to stop. Even though that's slower, it makes things more consistent. If she doesn't stop, then the routes are weird, at least for me. Like, it's not what I'm used to. So, I used to use an invis here because I thought that guy would see me. But if you just sort of inch up the wall, he's kind of blind. You just get up to here. You're in full dark. You've got a lot of leeway with her. She can get like way up there and you're still good. So just, you don't even need to bop this guy. Just, I just let him go. Now you're gonna need six pickpockets, but it's not just pockets, it's also arrows that count as pickpockets. So arrows, uh, loot or anything on the waist. So speed potions or, or health, or no, sorry, like healing potions or whatever else. Anything on the waist, anything in the quiver and uh, there was something else? No, I think, yeah, so that's it. So arrows also count. So you can get this six, no sweat, if you just pick the arrows off of this guy. You already got two. Um, so just don't need to bop them out either. Some people do, but so that's two already and 100 gold. Just run up here into the shadow. I found that if she doesn't stop at one point, she usually doesn't stop at any. Yeah, so that's really good to know. So now, if she doesn't stop, then it's a good idea to run in behind her, because what you want is to knock out this lady, this female peasant who comes over here. But if she does stop, then you want to go, like, back here and hide in the darkness of that alleyway and wait for the female to walk up that way and bonk her out. But... Just, just, just relax. Mosley's gonna walk there a bit, but it's cool. You've got plenty of time. And again, if you have the non-resource fix, it'll be more obvious these areas are dark, but you know, this area is dark, so you know. But you've got plenty of time. So the distance you have, when she gets to the market, I'll show you. I'll even demonstrate it. I'll demonstrate the distance you have. Okay. Help me light this thing. So yeah, if she does stop at all the points, then there'll be a guard coming right out, and you know where he is, you can just bop him right here. But if not, then you're never quite sure. But yeah, so if I'm standing right here... In fact, I should just probably stand right here. I'm standing right here, in the dark, and we'll see 
that she can get right about to the other end of the market before we fail. So that's about the distance you've got. Always so dark so and she's there. Here. She's getting closer. I did save. Or if not, I'll just restart because I'm, I'm pretty close to the start. So, right as she kind of gets to the middle of that alley, or maybe the end of it. Yeah. So it's right about the width of the market plus like the length of the alley there. So, yeah, I did save. Okay. All right. So that's so about how much you I got to work to with. So it's, it's more than you might think, but you do have to sort of watch yourself there still. Watch your distance. What I'm saying is we've got plenty of time to wait for this uh, civilian to come up here. That shouldn't go out no, you can't KO her until after she's dropped the letter. <laughs> That's the whole point. You have to get... So if these guys, so like these guys are a little bit weirdly positioned. So what you want, so I'm going to use an invis here. Is anyone there? Jordan. <sighs> so if you know how much space you got, then there's no need to panic. Just drag these guys over here. So you, I'm going to, I used an invis because I didn't want to like get those guys. I'm going to put this out for later. Alerted and it's just safer. Yeah, totally. I, I KO her afterwards now. That's such a good thing to know. I want to put that out because the Pagan is going to be coming back here later. So you want to put the torches out. Now, okay, so here's, here's a spot that I'm going to have to explain some things about because it's not going to be obvious. And it's going to take me way too long to actually physically demonstrate it. You want to get that torch out there so you can knock that lady out. You're going to want to knock her out. Okay. It's, it's hard for me to explain because it goes too fast. But okay. Do you see this guard here? Right? He walks along here. And he's going to walk right up here where this female guard is. So you, you want to knock out the female guard to pick her pocket. And also to... Like in case you didn't get the other pickpockets. <coughs> And also to get her out of the way, because she's going to be a huge pain. But like that guy, he also walks up here. And the weird thing is, you can follow Mosley, but you can also jump here and not lose her. And you can go alongside of the building. And I think this is what Rick does. And avoid this whole area up there and avoid having to use an invis potion on female guard. Although you also do miss a pickpocket. Then you can just bop this guy out. However, if you do come this way... Where is he? There he is. Then for some unknown reason that might have to do with the fact that AIs stop walking in a distance or something, I'm guessing. But if you come this way, and again, I don't have time to show this without replaying a really, really long waiting time. But if you come this way, then later on, when you come up here, that guard will be walking right in your face when the Pagan walks up there. If you take the route I'm about to show you, he will not be in your face. I don't know why, but it's probably due to proximity that he doesn't walk or something. But that's why I take the route that I'm going to take rather than this much safer one because this results in pain later on. So I'm actually going to take just a five minute break here and then I'll come back and show you. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I would love to take that safer route, but yeah. Okay. So there's actually two other things you could do. I'll show you the thing I did before, which is what I did last year. And then I'll show you this new uh, sort of like compromise halfway between sort of path that I take now that sort of has the good points of both of these paths. I'm going to put her over here so that she's like way out of the way of the pagan. Okay. <coughs> So, once th the first thing you can do, this is what I did last year, is you just...
completely follow Mosley all the way, and for this path, you actually need to burn an extra Invis Potion, which is not a great thing, but I didn't know there was any other way out of it. So I'll show you the full way to do that, and then I'll show you what I actually do now. Well, you've just seen it, but... Hello? Nothing there. What you want is to get this guy, though. Weird. Because he could be a problem, too. So you see how if you just look at it from this way, there's really no way to get over there without invising, because she's going to be too far away, probably. And that lady's going to come right over this bridge, and you can't just sit here waiting for her. So what I did last year was I just ran. Also, I wanted her, her loot. Yeah, so you just run. Then just simply take her up. Mosley doesn't ever stop here. That's not even a stop point. So you just dump her in there, and then you go. What I do now, save is a little far back, in order to save an invis potion, and this is why I'm pretty confident with curry now, because I end up with a bunch of invis potions, like I can burn one in the market easily and not even worry, because I don't have to use another one over here, you know? All right, so how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? But make sure to take her out because she's going to be right in the path of the pagan. So she's going to be like, she's going to kill your run if you don't take her out. Yeah, I usually end up with three if I don't have to burn one in the market. Like if Mosley stops at all the stop points, you don't have to burn one in the market because your patterns are good. But I used one there. But, uh, wait a minute, where's this guy? Oh, he's... Hmm... So you know what? I'm going to take an exceptional thought. I'm not even going to bop that guy. Instead, I'm just going to go right here. This is what I do. You jump over here. You quickly put that out. Oh, he turns and comes back. This is a real problem. What was that? Don't move a muscle. So like, if this happened, you'd just use an... I guess you'd just use another invis. That's never happened to me before? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so like, you don't really want to burn two invises, but the point is you have... You have them if you absolutely need them to save your ass, like, because it's better to waste them and, and fumble around a bit but survive than to die, so... But that was weird. Someone help me light this thing. But like, I would have used it earlier if it was a real run. I just wasn't sure what to do in a demo. We. God damn it! I'm just. You'd think I don't even know how to do this. Something. <laughs> All right, so... So this is stuff I also have to watch out for in a real run, though. Like, I can't just use the excuse, oh, this is just practice. It always counts. If I'm doing it, if I'm doing this mission and something happens, it, it counts, because it could happen in, in a real run. So that's why you want to take that guy out. So this is a good position, but if he's late, that's pretty bad. And I guess you'd just fall back to the old Viz using route then. That's what I mean. You have to be flexible. If you if you ever just find no. yourself in a situation you've never been in before, you have to think on your feet and like, okay, how can I fall this back and 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 use like another strat really, really quickly. So I can't unfortunately I can't tell you like exactly what to do like I can on some missions because it's just so random. What was that? So I like to bop her out still, even though it's pretty tight. Because I probably don't need to, actually. I should test that. I, I almost certainly don't need to, because it's kind of dangerous to just waste the time. But 
Ideally, you actually don't want Mosley to stop on this bridge. So you're pretty flexible. See last run? Okay. Because that way you can... Oops. Oh, shit. No. Damn it, game. Because then you can kind of stand here. Sorry, I, my controls went weird. So you want to again do the nudge thing to see if she... Okay, she stopped, I think. Just inching out there. Something there. If she does stop on the bridge, then you would wait for that guy. But again, you just do what you get. It's always nothing. It's never <laughs> exciting. So again, thanks to... I guess it was Rex. Were you the one that originally told me you can bop? Or showed me you can bop mostly out? Yeah, you can bot Mosley out as soon as she drops the letter because then she's irrelevant. So you want to do that because otherwise she could get in the way later because she takes this annoying route where she's still walking around town all subterfuge like and yeah. So you just wait here. She almost always stops by the lamppost. I've only seen her not do it once, I think. But, you know. All right. Cool, Rex. So again, just kind of wait a bit for her to turn and... Don't be, don't be hasty in this part, okay? As soon as she drops the letter, though, you just bop Who's her. But don't go too far from the letter either. Like, make, because if you, if you let her go too far, you'll fail if you're far away from the letter. Because now, now your radius fail is not her, it's the letter, you see? In fact, maybe it was always the letter and it was just attached to her, so read it also. Somehow I doubt she dropped her. <laughs> don't just pick it up and though. drop it. I better see what it says. So if you have the resource fixed, then you'll get the boots conversation. If you don't, you won't. Doesn't really matter. New boots. I'll send you a clip and you tell me if I'm flexible. Gonna take me a week to break in the cursed things. And until then. And in fact, I found that if you pick up the letter and walk around with it, you can just walk all over the level until the pagan comes. If you if he comes and then the letter's not here, you'll fail. But within that time, you can just pick it up and run anywhere. It's kind of funny. New boots. All brothers, uh, all friends of all denominations would get new boots. Then they'll get dead because, you know, leaky bodies of flesh, they all get dead. <laughs> So yeah, if you do get the boots conversation, then you should knock out the guy when he comes by the door, because who knows what he'll do. Who knows what he'll do. He could destroy us all. Just because something is physically possible is not in any way constitutive of proof that it did in fact happen. Uh -huh. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> well, or will, in fact, happen. So I could pick up these flares if I wanted to be a troll. But... Then you just kind of sit around waiting. Forever and ever and ever. You usually don't wait as long as... No, you definitely don't ever wait as long as the Karis Convo, but still it feels like forever. I mean, I should, pl I should play an audio file of it again, just to kill <laughs> Yeah, right. If I hear that conversation again, I'm going to go crazy. But I have to. <laughs> oh, boy. You failed to light your flint. Okay. So that's really the hard part. The pagan part is not that difficult. 
as long as some stupid bug doesn't happen. So you see that lady, yeah, like, the guard over there, he would be right over here if you'd have taken that left path around the building. Don't know why, but... <laughs> Although he's actually coming kind of close, that's not so good. Come on, dude. Please don't stop here. Okay. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, I'll go through it and maybe separate it by mission or something. I'll do it all up. So here's where I got hilariously caught last year. It was really entertaining. Like, that's the thing, is that when you have a really good route and you've got it practiced, it's less entertaining because you don't screw up as much, or you screw up in boring ways like dying. But yeah, I didn't realize you could just circle around the building. There's a couple of places because it's radius-based only, so even if you let them out of your sight, as long as you're in radius, it's fine. So your radius is perfectly in because he's just going to go all the way around this building and then over there. So you can just wait in this shadow and there's no trouble at all. He so I didn't know that last year. But take her out anyway. Who's there? I just get nightmares when I go to Bop Road. I'm like, am I an inch? Am I an inch too far to her side so that she's going to see me? Because <laughs> I just look at my VOD from last year and it's like, oh my god, if I was an inch further the other way, I would have been fine. <laughs> so what I do is I actually go up here and I just sit on top of here and just wait for him to come around. Okay, he's already come around. And then you can even just do another round the building thing where he goes around that other one. You just run right to here. I know, I know, that's the thing. Like I don't I don't want to change it because it was really entertaining and super cool looking when I finally got out of it. Like that that was worth its weight in gold, absolutely. But still though, I still get shivers when I come up behind her. I'm just like, oh my god, is she going to see me? <laughs> quickly run over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flirting. And then, of course, there was another guy, another male guard near the end who got me. So, if you didn't manage to take all these guards out, then you can kind of be safe and, like, go behind here. In fact, like, if you want to just be super safe, you can go this way. And because you knocked out Mosley, she won't be coming this way either, because sometimes she comes, like, over there or something. But... Now, you can go behind the building, but I'm not actually going to do that because that way you don't get to bop out this one guard that I'm going to bop out who has a purse, and I want to leave here with 500 loot, so I'm actually just going to follow the peg in like normal. That way you get in the right pattern. But if you you want it, if you wanted to, you could go around those buildings and like Guess it's a quiet shift not get busted because he... You're whoa, you're still within radius. But I'm not going to because I just want to bob out the guard and I couldn't find him if I go behind the buildings. Or he gets too much in my face and then I can't get him or something. I don't know. I tested it. I forgot what it was exactly. But So again with the chest, inching around a corner. So that guard walking in the wood up there is the guy right at the start. So, like, if you knew where to go, you could just bop him, come right down here, and then just go straight to the graveyard. It's super dumb how you have to walk all around. So the guy I'm talking about is this guard over here who busted me last year as well. But, like, if I didn't get him here, then I can't really get him easily, so that's why I come this way. Oh, yeah, scouting orbs. I forget they exist because I'm like, who the hell needs these? They're kind of like flares to me. I'm like... Pfft. Uh, dude, thank you. Every breath of air a blessing. Every taste so, I'm gonna try a stupid strat here. Like, basically, once he gets hit, you can just run around the block and get, like, I'll show you, okay? I'll show you. So, actually, one thing you can do, and I haven't done this in a long time, but you can do it if you're feeling like showing off. Follow him straightforwardly, no funny around. Yeah, okay. Is so you can just stand on this side of the door. Anyway. 
And then you, once they go out, you just like hold it open. Can Except there's more than one of them. The but like, you know what I mean? You jump out the window into the graveyard. Like, that's something you do, but it's just too dangerous. So, normally what I do... ...is I just wait for first blood. Uh, and then... <gasps> Shoot him, come on. And then I just run around here... What, you, you hold the door open? So yeah, this is what you do. This is a super safe route. You're coming through this way and... So you go in here. But... <laughs> Rex, you're going to make me mistake you for a spam bot at some point. <laughs> yeah, so what you can do... Okay, that was a bit early, but you just run right through here. A cemetery. <laughs> That's original. And you just follow him. This is faster than going around the block. Where did he but go? it does use an invis, so if you don't have any left or... Be out of here after all. So that's Courier. You will not get much better than 15 minutes. It's just... You're just forced. Like, I don't think you can get a sub-15, you know? Because you're just at the behold, at the behest of the, you're beholden to the timing of the. Looks like he's farting, but okay. So, I want to come in to trace the courier with one invis at least, because otherwise you have to take an alternate strat for this one place, which is a lot slower, where you use water arrows to put out torches. So if I only had one invis, I wouldn't take that. I would just go around the block. But yeah, those are the three strats you can do at the end. Good riddance to this freaking mission. Let's just go. To trace the courier. Now... I'm gonna save. I'm gonna make a hard save. Or sorry, let's go to Trail of Blood. Tra-a, tra, -a, tra -a. Okay. So this is a really linear, nice, relaxing mission. And I'll just... You don't get any... You don't get to buy any equipment because you just went right through the portal. So... This is pretty short. You should be able to get in the five minute type of range, or maybe even less, if you do the fast stuff. So, just come around here. Now, you don't need to get this map, because Rick said you didn't, and because this objective to find it just unchecks itself. But if you want it, it's right here. If you don't have any invisibles, you can get some extra water arrows here. Three of them. Um, but if I've got at least one invis, I don't bother getting those, because it's just wasted time, and I don't need them. So... Getting the map and not getting the map is exactly the same route. The only difference is you either pick it up or you don't. So, you know. Well, I asked him and Rick, yeah, it's because Rick said it's, I don't know, whatever. But anyways, okay, so if you didn't get 500 loot coming out, then you can go over here and you can wait for this guy to cross the bridge. Teacher said. And he's got a hundred on him. Uh, right, then you just carry on through the river. But, if you did get 500, you don't need that. So... Like, you could get that extra hundred and then another extra hundred, and then you could have... 1200, so you could get one extra flash bomb for life of the party, but like... Get enough anyway that you don't really need that. Okay. So if you don't need his loot, then you just go on through the river. This is the absolute fastest way. You just skip absolutely all of this bullshit on the sides. <laughs> and you go all the way up till you see the red ruby there. You mantle up to the left of it. The timing just works out perfectly. You run up here and get the second ruby right behind the building. I love it when the timing is just beautiful like this. Then you just wait like a couple of seconds for this mech to turn around. Right. Run and try to get her before she blocks the bridge. Okay. Now, the the fast strat is you want these two flash bombs. The fast strat is just to run through here. Yeah, if they're, if they're stupid and blind, if you can run it right, they won't even see you. But even if they do, you just like quickly run up here and just have them on your tail and just really quickly do this thing. But you want both of those flash bombs for safety. And for, for speed later. 
Looks like I'm still on the right because track. Because if if one of the eight pieces turned weirdly to face you, you can just use, burn a flash bomb and be really fast and just get past them. But then you also want this other flash bomb for a reason. So there's this strat later coming coming up in a minute here that I'm going to show you the two ways to do it. You can save a little bit of time with something that's kind of risky. But if you practiced it a lot, it probably wouldn't be as risky. Is but I haven't practiced it that much, which is why looks different. I didn't do it in this year's run. But I'll show you how to do it. It does save a bit of time. Also, I guess if you can cross the swamp, that would save even more time. But, like, I don't even know how to do that. That's probably the fastest thing. But the second fastest thing... You get up here. Now, what you're supposed to do is just follow this path. So... I'll show you. What you're supposed to do is go around. And I think going to the right is a little bit faster if you want to go all the way around, but I, I didn't calculate it yet. But yeah, you're supposed to go all the way through here. And then you would end up here. And there's where you were. But if you want... Okay, quick. If you want, you can jump. And you really have to practice because if you miss this, you're in trouble. <coughs> So you get hurt there. There's a way to do it so you don't even get hurt. But it does save you a little bit of time. So if you do that. So uh, the commentators said that I got into some trouble and used a flash bomb here. But this was actually routed. Like you just use a flash bomb so you can get right in his face and just be fast. This wasn't an accident. Count and silver. I routed this on purpose because I know I can spare a flash bomb. So I just used it to be faster, that's all. Um, wasn't getting into trouble. It's all on purpose. So that just saves you a little bit of time. Boom, roasted. <laughs> nah, it's fine. So that way, this guy is going away from you, so you don't have to use another on him. <laughs> so, this is where you want to use your invis. So if you don't have invis, you have to use water or else to put these torches out, or just cross your fingers and try to get in behind him and pray he doesn't see you, which he often doesn't, but sometimes he does. But if you use an invis, you're cool. You just go right through there. So I should have said, we want, we want fi 500 loot coming out of the last mission so that we can... Pick up more here, totaling a thousand, so that we can get five flash bombs at the beginning of life of the party. So we want to get that loot. Now we've got 800. By this I'm. So you could, I think you can rope up on to there and be faster, or just not wait for this guy and flash bomb him and be faster. But then you won't have a flash bomb for later. So, meh. But you want to get this speed potion and then. Don't forget the ring underneath it. That'll take you to 900. Now, there's some backup loot you can get. Now, I used to use a flash bomb on these guys coming up, but I realized you don't even need to. They're so wrapped up in their convo, you can literally just run past them both times, and they don't even care. What you want your last flash bomb for is if this guy here is turned to face you, you want to flash bomb him. I don't need to now. But there's backup loot over there in that tree. And uh, if if you need to fill out your thousand, but I hope this guy doesn't run out of blood. This will take you to 1050. That's over a thousand. So if you wanted another flash bomb, you would have to get the hundred on the mechanist that I pointed out at first. Okay, you use your speed potion here. You want to go to the right and then just straight. So right first and then just straight and slightly in between these trees, and then you're there. Got lost in the snow world. Dude, that sounds magical. Lost in the snow world. So that's four minutes, 50 seconds. That's sub five, because I took the risky jump and I didn't have to flash bomb the guy or whatever. But yeah, if you, if you didn't have to wait for that other eight beast, you could save even more time. I'm guessing if you really did a speed run, you could probably even get sub four, I don't know, but yeah. So you'd have to get the extra 100 from the mechanist at the start and then find 100 somewhere else. And, like, it's not really worth it because five flash bombs plus the other three that you get in the mission are way more than enough for me. So 
That's Trail of Blood. There's really not too much to it. I explained all the tricks. They're all pretty simple and all the timing. There's not much to it, so... Let's continue on to a really cool and possibly random one, Life of the Party. This route is really cool looking, and I hope I get the good one, because you can get bad RNG and not be able to do it really fast. I can get sub-12 minutes if I get the good RNG. So let's just give it a try. So here's the reason we got a thousand. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to start out with five. We're going to get three more flash bombs. Uh, I think three. Yeah. So here we go. So right off the bat, you're going to go hey, this ledge. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. Get the two coins. You don't need the waters. you got plenty enough waters already. Ten is way more than enough. You're only going to use, like, one, I think. So... Uh, another thing. Okay, cool. Thanks for coming, Rick. So, another thing with this. Um, <laughs> once you've gone over here... Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. <laughs> th there's a guy sleeping, so if you just go off the edge and you're not crouched or you're not careful, he's going to wake up from your tap, or even if you tap Hello. too close to him. So you have to kind of be ready for that possibility. But if you're careful, he won't wake up, and you just got to, like, if you're going to run hey, in there fast, just know that he's going to wake up and try not to get too in his face, like, bop him out before he alerts or whatever, if you're going to do that. Like, if you're going to do this, then just, like... Oh. Do that, and don't second alert him, because then you'll be running him all around, right? <laughs> you'll be watching with this hey, eye. Hey, the city oh, looks right. almost bearable from up here. But if you don't want to do that, then... <laughs> then you can just kind of creep, crouch, crawl, do the, the fall off the edge like this, and just creep, and you can even just... steal this stuff. But... <sighs> Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. Garrett. Yeah, if you pick up a water arrow, that's fine. It doesn't matter if you do or don't. No, I want to see how fast I can get when I... <laughs> when I just run, actually. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. But this is another really tight loot route because there's a lot of loot in this mission, but... A lot of it is, like, really in disparate places from each other, and it's actually pretty hard to get your loot goal fast. If I follow so, like, there's loot over there, but I'm not going to do that to the mechanist tower. because I, I sort of timed everything out and decided that was just slower. So you want to get in here really quick so that you can grab that and then stand over here before he opens the door. Timing, timing. It's all about time. And, and that's timing right from the start of the mission, too. Um... So, in fact, it might even be... I saw Nexus do this, and I thought she was crazy, but I guess she just had better... Come on. Timing. Hey, the city looks you could even shoot the vine here. before the guy even comes from the door, and then you can, like, run right to the other side and still have time if you're fast, so Someone I guess... Making noise. That's risky, what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it for the lulls, because I want to see. If I follow see. this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. Yeah. Plenty of time. So anything you can overlap will save you time. So we're not going to go to the Archer fight, unfortunately, because it's just it's too out of the way and also too dangerous. Also, uh, with this, if you if you were to take this board out first, also sometimes you just don't hit it. What'll happen is its splinters will fall onto this board, and when you try to hit this board overhead, you'll just hit the splinters. At least that's what usually happens, but the game's gonna make a liar out of me. That's what often happens. It didn't this time, so I look like an idiot, but if it does happen, you won't be able to break it, and you'll just have to... Overlap I.O. in Winnipeg? Yes. And, uh... Except overlap I.O. does not make any sense, because hard drives are, like, sequential or, or drives at all, so, like, 
I don't even understand how you would overlap I.O. at all. It's like a sequential bottleneck, isn't it? How? <laughs> Whatever. Maybe it's a server thing where drives have a queue depth or something. Like, literally, I tried to even look that up, and I'm almost like, why, hey, how does that make any sense as a concept? And up here. I'm guessing it must be a server thing. <gasps> well, yeah, but, like, there's no point in async I.O. because... Who's there? Hello? Well, I mean, you can do other stuff while you're doing I.O., but you can't... Surely you can't do two I.O.s at once. <sighs> Oh, non-blocking I.O. Okay. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. Which is weird, because you could just shove the I.O. in another thread and achieve the same result, but what do I know? <laughs> oh, okay. But, like, isn't that kind of irrelevant <clears throat> when we have multi-threading? <sighs> if I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. Okay, so let's actually do this. I can't be distracting myself with awesome programming talk. So I thought I might do a programming stream where I add a feature to Angel. Oh, I, I did the thing where I... Anyway, two overhead swings will do it, whatever. So you're going to have to pick this crate and like put it over that way because if you try to... Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. <sighs> Should save more often. <clears throat> Thought I heard something. <sighs> anyway, even if he third alerts, it doesn't matter. He can't get out of his little cubby hole there. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. God damn it, I want to actually progress here. <laughs> hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. <laughs> Hello? Somewhere. <laughs> but 55 is what you want. Point is. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. So you could go up there and get a healing potion if you want to get a safety healing. I get a safety healing elsewhere, so it's, it's fine. So normally, what I'm trying to say is I want to get this bottom board done first, just in case the top board puts its splinters onto there and I hit the splinters. Okay. Now, see, you might think you can just throw this crate there, but you can't. Like, I'm hitting the right mouse button. And you can't drop it either, so you, that's why I turn around and do the seemingly slow thing of, of turning around. Because you have to. But you can put that down there. Now, when you come out this window, there'll be a guard here. And he doesn't handle stairs well. So you see, he circles around those stairs. He usually also circles around those stairs. So don't, if he's going up the first time, don't try to bop him. Because he might circle around and then try to go up again. So you just have to watch out for that. Watch out for that. I'm Canadian. How's it going? Watch out for that. So yeah, if he's on stairs, just wait until you're certain he's off. Uh oh. But you do want to bop him. You need to go in here and get this loot and get these two other flash bombs. Now you have seven. Do the jump up the stairs. We're not even going to bother to take that guy out. Just going to go up here. He's not going to see us. Carefully go down this ladder. Do not fall here. Why is A pronounced A? I don't know. More like why is, is A spelled eh? That's the better question. Now, if you tap on the floor while you're while you're um while you're crouched, as long as you open this door and you're not what tapping while you open the door, like you can tap before you open the door and he won't hear you, but if you tap 
if he if he hears your tap like if you open the door and you're 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 still making sound then he'll hear you so just make sure you're done making sound and that goes for all parts of the game there's a thing in masks too where we have to remember that but this guy could do all kinds of stuff. He could even be stuck up there. He's been stuck up there sometimes. He's just buggy and you have to... If he's stuck up there, then I guess you got to burn a flash bomb on him or something. It's unlikely, but it could happen. Okay. So you can kind of just drop. Now, the fire might sometimes hurt you. That doesn't matter. One damage is like meh or two or whatever. So just make sure you're no longer making noise. Hello? Now, if this guy is right there, then you're on time. Just quickly run out, and you can get this safety healing if you want. You don't have to, but it's like a couple of seconds, so I figure it's worth it. Now I've got two healings. Okay, so here comes the bank. Now, here's the thing. The fastest thing to do, by a little bit, is to go to the bank right now. I'll show you. You can get your flash bombs ready. Open the doors, drop one or two or whatever you, you need to. We can do this the easy way. Don't move. Drop. And get the loot in the bank, because we're going to need the loot in the bank. I actually don't do the bank first, even though it's a little bit slower. And the reason is because I want to save all my flash bombs for Angel Watch, because I don't know how many I'll need in there. Now, with the bank, if you don't have any flash bombs, there is a backup strat you could do where you simply moss arrow the floor and then you just wait for the guys to be in the right position. So if you've got none, you just moss and moss and then you just quiet enough now. You just hide here and you just wait. Whereas in Angel Watch, if you don't have any flash bombs left, you're in serious trouble because you very well might come across someone who's in your face and you have no way to defend yourself. Then the inside of Angel Watch becomes lethal. But if you have a ton of flash bombs, the inside of Angel Watch is like frickin' a joke. So that's why you, I like to make sure that I always know how many I have before going into Angel Watch. Yeah, you see? And then you could just like follow him or and get him or whatever. So that's why I do it, even though it's just a tiny bit of backtracking to do the bank later. That's why I do it later, because then I know. You sort of see? <sighs> now, you want to get in here and get the invis potion, because we're going to use it for a strat later. Now, I'm pretty sure that you could probably avoid getting this and it would probably be faster to just do this strat a different way, but this is what I normally do, so, you know, whatever. So you don't have to bop either of these two out. I usually no bop her because it takes no time, but it takes time to through. bop her out, so I just leave her. She's lucky. 4.15 is what you need before Angel Watch. Or if you did the bank before, then it's a different number, but, you know. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, don't do so, that, by the way. That's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. So, even though it's my instinct to close doors behind me, I'm not going to close that, that one because so we, we're going to come Maybe back out that way. Security isn't as tight as I thought. Okay. So here's another timing thing. We're on the clock now. Go out this door. Hit this button on the way so we can overlap I.O. the elevator. Run in here. Don't even bother to close the door. We're going to want that. That's one flash bomb. Now we have eight. Pick this chest. That's the only other, that's the only two chests we need, the loot and the flash bomb there. You can ignore the rest of them, you don't need them. Get the loot in there. Now, here, a little quirk. This lock will start with either pick. You can start it with the square or you can start it with the triangle, but it will always want to end with the triangle, so if you start with the square, Then you have to switch to the triangle, you see? But if you just start with the triangle, you don't ever have to switch, so it's just like a little faster, and you less key presses. You just do the triangle for the whole way. <laughs> 600 is what you should have. Now, it's tempting to just run right out and bop her? Okay, we're a little early for that, but like sometimes you're not early for that, and you can, but then the robot will be off timing, so what you want to do is just wait for her. Now, another thing. 
she goes that way, then she turns around, then she turns back around. She didn't do it this time. What? Okay, I guess... I guess we just caught her on a weird... She is supposed to turn around and then turn back around and then turn around again, so that's why you just gotta watch out for that, but for some reason she didn't. I don't know, but when she goes into there... So as soon as she kind of walks... That's weird. Must be to do with saving and reloading. As soon as she kind of walks into there, you want to run. Because you don't want her getting far enough for the robot to see her. There is like a good position. And right when you walk, the robot's walking away. Careful. Creep, crutch, crawl. Bop the guy. Take the key. Open this door. Grab the two candles. Quickly grab that. Run back around. Grab him. Shove him in here so the bot can't see him. Because the bot will see him. Now you're in here. Okay. Then you use the triangle lockpick on this. And then you can use the, uh, yeah, one and, one and two up from the loot. Use the other key. Oh, he noticed the lady. So, okay, so once you're out of there, you can go to the elevator. So let's see that again. Right when she turns. Hello. Go straight out, carefully creep, get the key, open the door, circle around, get the two candles, get that, pick the guy up. Message number three of six. Throw him in there, close the door. Get the loot, one, two steps up, open the door. Go to the elevator. Okay. Now, if you can go down here first. You can go down here. Actually, no. Going down here first is faster because we're actually not going to take the elevator down later at the end anyway. So, yeah. Go down here first. Hit this. And I've tested. Actually, going down these ramps is slower than just waiting for the elevator. It's, it feels like it should be faster, but isn't. Okay. Now in the elevator. Now, I'm going to wait. So, here's what's going to happen. Okay. Here's so what's going to happen Harris with the elevator. Garrett, shut up. For his own party. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six floors. We're going to be going up the floors. We're going to be in full brightness in this elevator. There are two possible floors where someone could see us. On, on the... Either the third or the... F I think it's the third floor. There is an armed mechanist who can see us on the, I mean, maybe the fourth floor. Third of the fourth floor, there's an armed mechanist who can see us. On the fifth floor, there is a lady in red who might see us. If the mechanist sees us, that's fine. If the lady in red sees us, it's going to throw our route off. And that's fine, but it'll make us slower. So it's really just luck. You just have to cross your fingers and go up the elevator. But, uh, okay. But we're just going to do that. We're going to get our Invis Potion ready. We're not going to use it on the elevator, but we're going to use it right at the top. I mean, you can wait on the elevator to see if that, like... But it's all just, like, you don't know if waiting is going to make the guards come into your face or leave your face, so it's really just... Superstition, you know, you just, it's just random, whatever. Okay. We didn't get seen here. Good, we didn't get seen at all. Now we can do the fast stretch. So right when you're here, use the invis. And lean up so that you don't accidentally throb the elevator. Grab her key. Sorry, it's hard to explain when you're going fast. Bop these two out. You want to be invisible when you bop them out? Okay, because here's the thing. Yeah, so when you're on the elevator, lean up when you use the invis. Otherwise, you'll just throb the gate. So, so do what I did there. But the thing is, the reason why you want to use the invis... So the, it's because if you get these guys alerted to you, they will run that way, and they're too fast for you. Like, you want them to still be here when you bop them, because you want their loot and you want them out of the way. So I should have saved up on that elevator, because I got the good pattern. So another strat you can do 
if you don't have the invis or you don't want to take the time to get it. Oops. Oh yeah, this elevator can do this, by the way, if you get stuck on the wall or you just sneeze wrong. So that's something to watch out for. Uh. So that's bad. It's funny, but yeah, you don't want that. Elevators are very fragile in the Thief engine. They can, their physics can break really easily. Uh -oh. Okay, so if you don't have or don't want to use an invis, instead... Okay, so what, what you could think to do is to use a flash bomb. That will make you be able... Okay, assuming they both got... So, like, assuming they both got flash bombed, that would get you to these guys, but those two... Okay, normally she... Normally she runs over there with that guy. You don't want those guys running, so... Instead... You use a moss and then a flash. Oh, that's too far. Hey, I climbed on the elevator. Because now I'm, I'm walking on it. So if you moss... And then flash. Then it doesn't make noise. You can get these people like that. And you can just run quickly up to these two. Don't give them time to run. And then that will get you the same result. But... I'm just going to do the standard... Make sure to remember to grab her key. If you forget, you're going to be slow. <gasps> yeah, see, normally you wouldn't reload on the elevator, so you wouldn't be clanging like an idiot like this. Now, get your water arrow ready. Go into the fountain. Now, okay, the fountain... There's three coins in the fountain that we need, and they're kind of... I'll show you the map. Okay. Angel Watch, four, six, where is it now? Okay, so here, here is the fountain, but it's, it's some... Um, it's not oriented the way you would think. So let's see. Uh, three room. No, wait a minute. One secret bench shaft. Oh, that's the fifth floor. Okay, the sixth floor. Five is the elevator. So you're going to come up from here. So basically, you have to sort of turn this around 90 degrees. So we want the coin there, there, and there. Which means we want the coin here, here, and here, if you see. Because we're facing north now, right? So they're kind of in an L shape. Oh, sorry, I was not in the game, right? Take that off. So you want the coin here, here, and here. We're facing north, right? It's like an L shape the way it is on the map. There's the three coins. And if you're using HD mod, it's a lot harder to see these coins, so I do recommend you don't use the graphics mods. But yeah, uh, an L shape there, there, and there. So once you know where they are, it's not that hard. Um, but you are on the clock here. So quickly get the loot. The coin there, 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 jump. Don't even bother being quiet. Hit this machine. The robot will hear you. Wait a couple of seconds for him to turn away. Shoot him so he doesn't alert anybody else. You should have 910 loot. Okay. So now, if our luck has been good, then we should be able to just run over here and over here. Yes. This is the good pattern. You go in here, steal that guy. Do not knock him out, because then he'll go into the fire and you'll have to take him out manually, because otherwise he'll die. Take that guy's key, bop him, take the guy's key, run around and bop her. Okay, take her loot. Now. Okay, see you, Rex. I should probably end this at some point, too. Uh, I'll end it after Angel Watch. Okay. 
Jump and watch the VODs later. Okay, so that's the good route. That's the fast pattern. You get them both bopped out. You get the guy's key. It is the second key. So actually, I should have dropped this first one. You get the key. Open this door. Drop the key on the ground. That's so we don't have to scroll back to it. You just pick it right up. Triangle lock pick here, and then square there. Read the scripture, pick the key sure straight back up. Karis guys lost his Lock mind. the door so that this golden guy doesn't doesn't get out. Da -da, golden guy. Remember to go into this closet and turn the alarm off, otherwise there'll be a world of pain. Okay. We're not gonna need the secret loot closet either, so just go in here and get this. Now, if you don't get the good pattern, you're going to have to go looking for those two, and you're going to have to be careful on the floor and just wait for the patterns. It's kind of hard to explain, but like 1065 is what you want here. But, yeah, um, if there's if there's somebody coming out through the door that, I, that was around that corner when I first came onto the floor, you might have to flash bomb them. Everybody could get alerted, but like there's no archers in here other than one who is standing way up on a balcony, but she'll never get to you because she's stupid and doesn't know where you are. So um, so they're all just short range weapons. So you've got eight flash bombs. Use them with abandon if anyone gets up in your face and you're basically invincible and just sort of improvise is all I can really tell you. But okay, 1065 is what we want here. <laughs> this servant might also be in this room just Bop them out wherever they are. That. 11.40. Remember to hit that. Remember to hit all the machines. Don't forget them. And always check before. So it's possible this guy might be alerted with another lady in red here at some point. I don't know. But if that's the case, again, just flash bomb. 1205 loot. That's what you want. Flash bomb that guy. Use the office key. Now that you turn the alarm off, you can just grab that. So 12.05 loot is what you want. There might be a guy here that you need to flash bomb. If that's the case, just, just do what you gotta do. Otherwise, run right down to the stairs. For the the uh, fifth floor here, or, or sorry, for the fourth floor here, we are not even gonna bother with it. We're literally just going through here. Bop these two. And then just run straight through into the library. We're going to bop these two. Hmm, that guy down you. there is almost certainly going to get alerted. There's a guy down here on the floor. We don't Let care. We're just going to flash bomb him. Reveal thyself and surrender. Okay. Hello. Then we're going to just do whatever we need to for whatever pattern these guards are. Flash bomb them there. Mm -hmm. You might not have to if they're over there. Just improvise. Remember to hit this. Now we're going to leave, so make sure we've got everything, right? Got everything except the loot. We're going to finish that off in the bank. If you have done the bank first, then you should have this checked. Uh, otherwise, we're good. So we're going to just go right through this door. Careful. Grab the ladder properly. Go straight out. And again, you can kind of stand up and be faster if you don't go too much to the side and get stuck. Now we're out. So we just got to go to the bank and head home. Sounds like a normal day's errands. So you can kind of see, like, I know I didn't demonstrate all the possibilities, but I'm kind of wanting to wrap this up here because I think everyone's leaving, so. <laughs> so you don't even have to bop her out. You can still if you want, but meh. AI's lives don't even make a difference to anyone. It's just, <laughs> it's just AI. <laughs> Go in here. Ready your flash bombs. If you got any, if you don't, you got to be more careful here to not get seen. Why don't we make this easy on both of us and come on out? So that time I only had to use the one. I like to open this door because that way it's just right in my face as soon as I get done with this, and I don't have to open any other doors or go all around. But that's the general route. You start on the top floor because then you get the office key right away, so you don't have to go back up and down to different floors once you've got the office key to, like, retread ground or anything. So that was a pretty fast route. Okay, then you get 1562, which is just over the 1550 requirement. See what I mean about the loot route being tight? Now, there is... 
There is some backup loot that I actually should show you how to get in there because if you get a bad luck on the elevator and everyone's freaking out, you might well not be able to get uh, someone's purse because they might just have run off somewhere and you don't know where they are. So I'll just show you that after I finish. If you want to be stupid, you can just go like this. <laughs> 11 minutes, 30 seconds. That is really fast. That's if you get the good luck and know exactly what to do. Okay, so now I'll just quickly show you some backup loot if you lose any... Oh, I'm here. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, that's that. Right, so... You've gone, uh... Just have to redo this a bit. Guys lost his mind. So yeah, if if you lose her or whatever. Like let's yeah, I mean I don't know. Let's just say you missed that. So now you've only got ten fifteen. <laughs> you're like, what do I do? Yeah, this time he did get alerted or something, or at least moved. Just a boiler, this? Or perch- oh. uh. Margaret. Guards! <laughs> What's that there? So, you can wait for these guards. <coughs> In two. <coughs> and you can go into this room. The loot, I think, is on the right. I was forget which one it is. On the left is a healing potion. Loot is on the right. Now you have 12, 10, and that's still not enough, but like, you get the sort of idea. There's loot there, and there's also loot over here. Right. And there's a bit over here, I think, but it's only like five or something. It's weird. Twelve thirty five, that's what we should have. I mean obviously that's really slow, but you gotta do what you gotta do if you've missed some. Guards <laughs> There's also an archer window at the start. Which is pretty dangerous, and you need flash bombs. But you could do that. Hello, hope weed. Did you say you'd cuddle me? I think there could be also loot like around this side. So if you're really pressed for it. What was that? <clears throat> then here you go. But yeah, that's that. So, uh, next time, let's see. Angel Watch, the loot. Now nah, the loot will be the same. Let me just see. Let me just see. 
after party is cargo, and we just see how much. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, next time I do cargo and probably finish the game explanation from there. Until then, thank you all for coming, and uh, see you guys next time. Maybe I'll clip this up and maybe even put it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But all right. Bye.